Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode one, Heroes of Bastion, a Tales of Novum story. I'm Alec. I will be your game master for this game, and I'm going to go around and introduce my players really quick. So, Re, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, I'm first. Uh, hi, I'm Re, also known as Relentless on, I think, every social platform that I'm on. Uh, and this is my first time playing Masks. Oh, my pronouns are she, her. They, she, they. <laughs> I forgot my own pronouns. <laughs> Just misgender yourself. <laughs> That's pretty homophobic of you, Ree. I'm not gonna lie. Shame. <laughs> We're doing so well right now. Cam, you're up next. Hey, I'm Cam, aka at Caminator the Animator on everything except for Twitter, where you can find me as at Professional. Yes, you heard that right. I am working on getting Caminator on my username. <laughs> <laughs> but for right now, we're professional. Um, my pronouns are they, them, and this is my second time playing masks. Nice. Chris with a K. Wow. <laughs> it's fine. I... I'll just... it's, it's fine. It's fine. Just no, come back, yourself, best friend. <laughs> um, I'm Chris with a K, aka DD Imposter on everything. My pronouns are she, they. I almost just made the same mistake as Reed because I was reading the first part of my character. Right. And I just learned we're playing masks. Just kidding. No, it's my first time playing masks. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Prime. Hello, I am Chris Prime, also known as Chris with a C. Uh, you can find me at Hamasamakun on all major social media platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. That, that's one of them, definitely. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, H-A-M-A-S-A-M-A-K-U-N. Uh, for all you people who don't know how to spell that. Um, I forgot the rest of what I was supposed to say. <laughs> Three people went before me and I've already forgotten. Have you played uh, Mask before? Boy, nope. All right, there we go. <laughs> but I have pretended to be a superhero in my house for many, many years. Same. Wow. That's Same. not sad oh, at all. That's also a thing that I did. <laughs> did everyone except for me misgender themselves? No, Thanks. Chris I no. Gender, I just forgot. Chris just forgot Chris, to gender themselves. Chris Prime, yeah, forgot. I simply don't <laughs> exist corporeally. I've been working on that for a while. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, all right, and I'm Alec the Bard. You can find me under Alec the Bard everywhere, he, him. Uh, and I've never GM'd masks before, but I'm very, very excited to tell this story of all of these fantastic people. Um, yeah. Your last name is The Bard. The Bard, yeah. Middle name The, last name Bard, yep. <laughs> Alec T. Bard. Alec T. Bard. Uh, all right. <laughs> S -Y. Lav, I hope Lav like happily edits this first part, or doesn't, I don't know. All right. So we are ready. So we start our story where we see a dark room. It's in shambles. There's some broken furniture, some garbage on the ground. It's some moonlight kind of passing through some cracks in the windows. And we see a crystal projector in the middle of the floor. It begins to crackle to life and an image of an old man strolling down a street can be seen. And he begins to speak. 500 years ago, after the legendary heroes known as the Six defeated the Drowned King and stopped him from destroying Novum, our founder, Glandril Brynall, had a vision for a city and a people who could stand ready if danger would once again come from the sky. That vision, over time, would become the glorious city known as Bastion. With the latest advances of magic and technology, Bastion has become a completely self-sufficient hive city made up of nine different layers, all perfectly engineered to serve the independence and advancement of Bastion and its people. The level of technology in this city doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, and will not, as Bastion has strict regulations on communication with the rest of the world. Some would say this is paranoia, but we here in Bastion believe it is in our best interest to stay isolated, stay isolated, should the infection ever return. Also, in Bastion, we believe in ensuring our future with the best possible education. A shining example is our school, Arkin, the school for... Uh, 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 and the, the image and the audio begins to distort and crackle and eventually stops. And we see someone picking up a bag, just out of sight, just too much in shadow for us to see. 
and a voice comes from the back of the room. So, kid, you ready for your first day of school? And from there, we're now going to pan to Gentown. Now, Gentown is home to 50% of Bastion's population. It's split into four sections with housing ranging in income, mixed with general stores, markets, teleportation paths to reach other layers, and all other services for occupants on this layer. We come to a small game shop located in the center of town. It has a forever glowing red sign with bold blocky letters saying the rally point. There's different games and books lining the shelves, action figures, ample spacing, uh, space for people to game. And we see a young man cleaning the counter. It's early morning. Chris Prime, would you please describe your character? Of course, I am playing Rally. Uh, he is humanoid. <laughs> Uh, he is kind of scrawny looking, if I'm being perfectly honest with myself. Uh, very curly, shaggy hair that covers his eyes, similar to mine that I covered with this hat because I couldn't see anything. Uh, he's wearing just like the an oversized graphic tee that he, you assume he probably got as a hand-me-down with like pictures of the, the grand heroes. It's probably a knockoff, so like one of the names is spelt wrong, and like there's a recolor of Nova or something, where it's like in completely purple. Uh, he's kind of just surveying the area. He has very bright, I suppose, innocent-looking eyes that kind of shine with this very faint light blue, though the colors themselves are like very dark brownish. Um, black hair. And he, on one arm, he has like a bunch of random sketches and stuff that he just drew on a sharp with Sharpie just because he was bored. And cargo pants, because I like cargo pants. <laughs> so your dad comes out from the back room. Would you mind describing what your father looks like? My father uh, is kind of like the splitting image of me, but older. Uh, sort of like graying hair. Uh, you can see, like, a handful of scars around the arms just from whatever he did beforehand. Rally hasn't asked, and none of his siblings have either. Um, he is also dressed in a graphic tee. He probably is, like, trying to advertise from the store of, like, knockoff heroes who probably don't actually exist. Uh, and he's very thick glasses, and he carries himself with this sort of air of confidence. He steps out from the back room and he's got a clipboard in his hands and he, as he's kind of like shaking inventory of the store and he turns to you and goes, So, are you ready for your speech today? I'm sorry, my what? Remember, you, you, because you're ahead of one of the clubs, you have to speak at the assembly today. We talked about this like last week. We got the letter from the school to make sure you were ready. Is that what that was? It, ah. Oh. Rally, you didn't prepare anything, did you? When you say prepare nothing... Yes. Well, um... Just, um... Imagine, um, everyone in their underwear, and, um... Just speak from the heart, so you don't get nervous. Do I do those things concurrently, or... How do I... I don't do public speaking, so I, I I can't really help you, but the underwear thing I've heard is a good tip. I've, I've talked to a grand total of maybe three people this month, and only maybe like one of those went well. I don't know if this is... I kind of like start going through like the comic book shelves and like various uh, issues and prints, and I just take out one that has like a really like, scarily drawn supervillain on it, and I flip through it to the part where he's giving a speech to his, like, confidants, and I'm like, this is, this is, I'll, I'll be using this. Uh, oh, all right. Um, well, uh, if you need anything, just, uh, give me a call on the crystal. I'll have my phone on me all day. Um, but, uh, you should head over to Nathira's. Uh, I believe they're, they've got breakfast ready for you. Do you want me to bring you back anything after school? The shop need anything? And he kind of like glances around, scratches his head, and he goes, uh, some more, some more soda, uh, perhaps, uh, if you could pick up some of that for the, the cooler, but I believe that's it. I think I changed accent. I, maybe, I don't know. You got it, Pops. Uh, 
bye, love you, and as I like, <laughs> run out the door, he, I he goes, love you, he goes for a hug, and <laughs> like, uh, all right. All right. Oh, I feel bad now. Wait, I run back and hug my dad. <laughs> and he hugs you really tight. He's got like that dad smell. Um, uh, and hugs you tight and goes, you're going to be great. You're going to do great. Just underwear. I don't know why I'm stuck on this. Um, all right. See you later, kid. <laughs> and he just turns around and goes back into the store. Probably doesn't leave quite yet. At the, at just that is like... I... And your dad's talking to himself like, stupid, that was a stupid thing to say. Man, it's any wonder how I came to be. As I <laughs> walk in, go to Nathira's house. Uh, and Nathira, we pan just down the street uh, to the house next, uh, next to Rally's. Um, would you describe what your house looks like? It is a red brick house that they have poorly painted over to make it look like white brick stone. Um, windows just abundant across all sides. Um, very dark, uh, dark roof with a little chimney poking out from behind the, um, if you were to walk in, you walk past like a small little gate that does nothing but maybe keep mice out. And as you walk up to the red door, if you were to look off to the right side, you see a string seeming to leave the second floor into the house next to it. You guys pass notes. Is that what that is? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. Um, so we we see an elven man uh, in the kitchen. Would you mind describing what your father looks like? So Burton is an old man who swears he doesn't need his cane anymore, but wobbles so vividly that it you must not have a soul if you're not reminding him to use it. Uh, he is a short, short man at this point, like barely above five feet, um, and just gray, scraggly hair everywhere. Um, his also thick rim glasses are just at the bottom of his nose as he's just in the kitchen wrapping up, making last few pancakes and putting the last one on top of a huge stack in the center of the table in the kitchen that has four chairs. And he's finishing up, you know, making breakfast and the smell of like pancakes and sweet buns and eggs and bacon fills the house and he shouts up and goes, Nathira, breakfast is ready, dear. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost done. Okay. And she, and she you just hear, <laughs> as she runs down the stairs in her in her like bright purple pajamas and she's holding up two sets of black overalls i don't know which one to wear uh well uh let's see um and he like adjusts his glasses and well i think you'd look fantastic in either kiddo but i'm gonna have to say the one on my left this one. i thought that one looked lighter too but i don't and they looked exactly the same You've um, probably done this dance with your dad a thousand times, and so he okay. gets it, so he's just playing along. Um, my freckles! And she's gonna run back upstairs to go finish putting on her makeup. <laughs> um, Mithira looks. <laughs> yes, please describe Mithira for the class. So Mithira is about... <laughs> Nithira is about five foot four. She has light, uh, light tan skin and just vibrant green eyes. She has very light colored um, lavender hair, which I don't have, um, that's very wavy and falls just below her shoulder blades. She often has them tied um, at school in two French braids, which people at school, by the time she has walked there or gotten there, she's just put random objects or flowers into. Um, she's got little half half elf ears sticking out from right behind her um, two braids, and she is just in love with freckles, but it doesn't take a lot to notice that these are not very real, and she seems to paint them on every single morning because she thinks they're cute. Um, she's got one small scar on her face that runs down the left side of her forehead, which she usually just hides with the part of her bangs that are swooping down, and if Rally would know this. She's got about 10 pairs of black overalls and they're all very different. They're very different, but nobody else really sees it, but they just entertain it. She's usually just wearing like a cropped little band, band tee under 
with um, her lime green backpack she always has on each shoulder. So after she goes up there and puts them all on, she's like <laughs> down with like both of them on. I think, I think, I think this was a good choice. You look fantastic, kiddo. You look great. How you feeling for your first day? Hopefully, Rally is got the confidence today because I don't, I don't really have a lot of it. Well, but I got my books. I got my books, and she just boom, them down on the table next to the pancakes. Jeez, jeez, you're gonna need a chiropractor later in life with those books, man. Um, well, you know what, kiddo? And he starts kind of fussing with you, like fixing your hair and kind of, you know, making sure you're, you know, all together. And he's like, you're going to do great. You're going to do great. And remember, you go straight to school and then you come. Straight home. Straight home. There we go. Straight That's home. my girl. That's my girl. And just then there's a, there's a knock on the door. Um, well, oh, that looks like it's Rally. And Rally! <laughs> <laughs> just right. like backpack flailing and she runs up. What's up, bud? Hey! They're gonna do their little secret handshake. Hell yeah! <laughs> which, which me and we Chris Prime actually handshake. know. We do, but, but I didn't remember that it wouldn't translate online. <laughs> we we do it, and we know, and that's what's important. We know it. Uh, I as you sort of open the door, know. you see Rally uh, notices your backpack, and then realizes he forgot his. <laughs> but he's too lazy to go back to the house and get it. But he does have like uh, like tiny flowers and one of those like really cheap keychains from the store. And he's like, for your hair. <gasps> she just takes them. We got pancakes. Hell yeah, I pancakes. love pancake day as I walk inside. <laughs> just oh, putting them in her hair. Oh, hey, Rally, how you doing? Hey, how you do? I do the secret handshake with. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you got a you got a secret handshake with pops. Uh, are you ready for your big speech, kiddo? Oh yeah. Uh, I kind of like take out the the comic book depicting the the destroyinator, the most fearsome villain of all time. Uh, yep. You, are you are you, you gonna give a super villain speech? No, 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 no. Rally, rally. What? what? Do you do you need me to write this one? I'm, I can do it on the way to school. I mean, you could, but like, I, don't, I feel like it gets the idea across. We, yeah, like, yeah, okay. we set the precedent that okay. we know our stuff. This is like, a, this is, it takes out the comic book and it's like old and sort of vintage. And it's like, this is, this is like deep cut stuff. It and is? anybody would, yeah. any, anybody would be really impressed with our comic book knowledge. I think the idea of promoting the slow destruction of the world may be a little uh, off kilter, but I think maybe, maybe for the first day, yeah. yeah maybe. Oh, we never get any. It, it, I, this club is very. But maybe important. people no no no, but people will be super intrigued, and then you could have you could have a ton more people at the club. This is true. You'll have a lot more friends. So it gets them a little mm, in the shoulder. Um, I mean. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the amount of, of friends or friend that I have now, but um, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. I I don't know where we're gonna get the chairs if we get more than like two more members. We could steal cushions from the library. Brenda loves me. You know Brenda loves me. How do you think I got did, these books? And you Burton true. didn't buy them. I forgot to get my books. You didn't get your books. I didn't know we'd need them on the first day. Well, maybe we'll have some of the same classes. You can borrow mine. This is, this is why you're my best friend. Uh, <laughs> kind of like <laughs> grabs one of the pancakes with his hands, like the one on the top. Be very <laughs> careful. Does not try to like, I, I don't want to like uh, get the germs on any other ones because I did just pick like wildflowers on my way here and I'm like kind of <laughs> nibbles on it. This is a very good pancake. Thank you, thank you, Rally. I, oh, geez, look at the time. You kids, if you want to beat the teleporter rush, you better head out to make it to school in time. You could probably do that. Okay. And he, he two more pancakes. <laughs> and he grabs he grabs one bag lunch and he gives it he gives it to Nathira and he goes, "Kiddo, just call me if you need anything. You're okay. gonna have a great day. Stick with Rally, Rally. I made you a lunch too because I figured you'd forget it at home. I did. Mm-hmm." All right, kiddos. Ah, oh, this is awesome. 
I packed an extra cupcake in there today. Um, all right, kiddos, you have a great day at school. Bye, Dad. Love you. Love you. Bye, Nathira's dad. Love you. <laughs> gives you gives Nathira a kiss on the cheek and just pats Rally on the head. <laughs> He's very happy with this. <laughs> the two of you make your way uh, to the teleporting station, which will take you up to the layer of education. Uh, and you see there's a bunch of essentially people all kind of standing in the queue for these different teleporters as they zip to different floors. Um, you know, you can take roads that there are roads that connect them, but this is just the fastest way. Um, and it minimizes carbon emissions, all that. We're going to pan away from these two, and we are going to go up a few layers. Uh, we are going to go to the gardens. So as uh, Rally and Athira head to school, we pass up to nearly the top of Bastion, to Excellus. This is the layer of the city that is devoted to the governing bodies of Bastion, as well as its banks and its most revered or wealthy citizens. The streets are beautiful, clean marble. The homes are extravagant. The next one's larger than the one before. It is the definition of excess and extravagance. And we come to the end of a cul-de-sac. Alaya, Alaya, is that how I say it? Yes? Yes. Uh, would you mind describing you and your mother's home? Uh, yeah, so Alaya lives in a house that's um, very tall and very clean. And it feels a bit more like a museum than a house. Um, everything is really minimalist, and there's not a whole lot of evidence that a kid lives there, per se. We see in the kitchen, we see a red-haired woman. Uh, she's tall, and she seems to be, like, fixing her tie and making sure her shirt and her suit is pressed and everything's good. Um, she's got a cigarette hanging out of her lips. Um, she hums to herself as she's making a cup of coffee. And she goes, Aliyah, uh, we've got to go early today. I've got a staff meeting uh, this morning before school starts. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be ready in just a second. Okay. And you see, she's she's like making omelets. These really fancy, really nice omelets, uh, and pouring some orange juice. Would you please describe your character for us? Yeah. So, um, Alea is uh, pretty short. She's four ten. Uh, I think she might be the youngest of the group. She's fourteen. Um, and uh, she has kind of long, unkept, and really oily hair, and she covers it up with a beanie. Um, she wears, like, really oversized t-shirts uh, and pants and, like, a big flannel that looks like it was actually um, maybe a hand-me-down from, like, an older man, like an adult, um, not necessarily made for her. Uh, she has chipped, like, dark red polish on her fingers. Her face is pretty like oily, full of pimples. Basically like the quintessential teenager in the wrong time of puberty. Um, and she has one eye, her left eye is uh, red and her right is hazel. Um, she has tan skin, seems like she's outside a lot and a little bit of freckles on there and uh, really bad red undertones. She wears some eyeliner, but she does not wear any uh, face makeup to cover that up. As you come downstairs, um, your, you know, your mom puts an omelet in front of you and a glass of orange juice, and she sits down kind of quietly at the table, um, and she looks up and she goes, so, um, how was your dad's this weekend? Uh, it was good. You how, good how was... Yeah, uh, how, how, was, how was your weekend, Mom? You know, just uh, lots, lots to do uh, to get ready for the new school year. Um, but uh, it was fine. It was fine. So, um, you're, you know, you had a good time at your dad's, yeah? Yeah, uh, it, it was fun. I, we, we played um, board games. That's, that's great. That's great. Uh, well, um, I, uh, I just have to get a couple things ready, uh, for the day, and then, uh, we'll, we'll head out here in just a little bit, all right? Mm -hmm. And she begins Mom? to get up. Yes? 
it, if you want, um, we can play board games too, if you want. I would, I would love that, honey. That would be, that would be great. How about, um, maybe Friday night? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sounds like a plan. And she gives you a kiss on the forehead, um, and goes to her office to get her things ready for the day. Uh, is there anything you would want to do before you leave for school? Uh, yeah, I think that, um, Alea takes the time to, uh, obviously pack her school books and everything, but she also goes up to her room, like in a, oh, I almost forgot, um, kind of moment, and packs a, uh, textbook that is not actually for school. Uh, it is a science book full of illustrations and like explanations of different plants and how they grow uh and she grabs that in a small sketchbook and she has some like chalk too but like not like drawing chalk like rock climbing chalk uh and then she's like okay okay good uh cool 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 i'm cool and your mom comes uh, out of her office, you know, she's got, she's tossing her keys in her hand and she goes, ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. You two of you get into the car and the cars in this world are very, think um, like World War II era, this almost like, you know, classic kind of like T-model um, cars as you get in. Uh, and she's got a very nice, very, very nice car. Um, you know, it's kind of got like a metallic blue sheen to it uh, with silver detail on it. And you drive, there's soft jazz music playing on the, um, uh, playing over the radio. And she, she turns and she goes, so are, are you nervous at all for your first day? Oh, uh, no, I, she's very obviously lying. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I, I, uh, I think I'll be fine. I mean lilacs there already so like at least i know one person and you know sometimes people ask me about stuff so like i at least people will talk to me yeah yeah and and if you need anything you you know where my office is um you can come on down anytime i'll be there I'll, i might be there i might not um but if you need anything you can come down and just sit if you need to yeah, I, I know, Mom. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, take up. You're a very busy lady. I don't want to take up your time. Yes, but you are my daughter, and if you need something, I'll be there. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you, too. As the two of you begin to drive down the highways that basically connect all the layers together, essentially, the, the, the city of Bastion, it's almost like sounds weird but it, like the roads are like a big parking garage where it kind of winds down between each layer if that makes mm. sense that kind of like winding road uh which is how you drive from layer to layer if you're not taking the telephone and then we're gonna pan a couple streets over to a house at the end of a road and uh lilac if you'd mind describing your house for us lilac's house if you think when you drive past a place you go past a place you can go that's obscene and almost like too luxurious but for some reason it kind of works i'm as much as i think this is <laughs> too much i'm also drawn in by the luxury of it there's like a glass window that takes up the entirety of the front of the house you can see the spiral staircase in there there's these luscious trees this long driveway that goes up to it the house looks like a mixture of like vintage with modern chic in there so it's just screams i have loads of money uh and it is very much uh not quite like an eyesore but it definitely stands out um and there's a lot of security around it. So you can see that there's these big gates. There's like, you can see like the people who work there who are obviously guards of some sort, but they're not meant to look threatening. This is meant to look very welcoming, but in a weird, like, if someone's trying to look welcoming, but they don't understand how normal people think welcoming is. We see a bunch of staff just kind of like milling about in the morning. You know, there's people tending to the gardens, as you mentioned, there's security kind of just walking around, you know, 
uh, checking on everything. There are people in the kitchens that are furiously making food. Um, and we panned this large dining room table. Like it could be set for easily like 20 people. Mm. And all the way at the end at the head chair, we see a large, tall, muscular man um, who's got a newspaper. He's got long black hair that's tied up with some salt and pepper, you know, gray coming in on the sides. Um, he's got like kind of these square glasses. Um, and uh, would you mind describing the rest and introduce your father? Um, so uh, her father, uh, known to the public as Nova, uh, is a very um, broad guy, but almost very delicate with how he moves. He's got this kind of uh, agile grace about him, even though he's large and he takes up space. It's like the space is molded around him. He has this aura about him. The room isn't owned by him. He commands every inch of it. The air molecules move for him and him alone. That is the presence that he emits, which is why even from the other end of the table, Lila can still feel his presence right next to her, even though she is a good 20 seats away from him uh, at the other end of the table. Um, you want me to introduce Lila? Yes, please. Lilac is, uh, so both of them are high elves as well, like, so they've got their pointed ears, that pale complexion, that kind of unhuman, the, the weird kind of beauty where it's not quite normal, but also very pleasant to look at. She has violet eyes, very similar to the lilac of her name, and this long, luscious, pale blonde hair that looks annoyingly, like, curly like with waves instead of being frizzy there's no stray hair it's it's almost aggravating that it looks like there doesn't even like there isn't a single hair that's tangled uh it is perfectly molded around her floats about her very uh very prettily and she's also sat with that same sort of delicacy except this is practiced this is learned this doesn't come supernaturally to her uh, as genetically altered as her father is. Um, hers is learned from watching him and being around him. Uh, she has two beauty marks, one beneath her eye and one at the corner of her lips there. Her makeup is done perfectly in that kind of natural but not quite natural way. Uh, and she is wearing, like, think like fantasy Chanel, fantasy Gucci. Um, that sort of <laughs> elegance to her, like the pale colours and such where she's like, I could eat like the messiest, sloppiest burger and not a speck would get on me and you absolutely know it. Um, she's someone that would like, she would never, but if she did slurp spaghetti, it wouldn't, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing would land on her. Um, and she has these like obscenely glittery diamond earrings on, which somehow seem to catch light all the time. Um, and she's quite delicately set, like picking at like the smallest amount of fruit and such for breakfast, even though there are chefs at her beck and call to cook at yes. anything. But she's just having like fruit and, and some light bits of bread with like some cream cheese on top and such. Very light breakfast. So your father folds the newspaper down and he goes, so kid, you ready for your first day? Um... Yes, I have studied everything already, so I should be going in with a pretty good, like, head start to get ahead of most people. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already caught up on the calculus and such, so that should be well ahead. Uh, I've already looked into the school council and what I have to do to apply for that. Um, I've already started practicing the ballet steps, and I've got a little idea of what they're planning to do for the end of year. So if I start practicing for that, I can already get ahead. So yeah, I think I'm pretty good to go. Good. That's my girl. That's what I like to hear. Mm. Uh, I forgot to mention your, your dresses for homecoming. I believe they came in. They'll be here when you get home tonight for you to try. Thanks, Dad. You always know exactly what I want. So I'm so excited to see what you've chosen. It'll be really nice. I've sent off my measurements, so they should be good. And if they're not, we'll just send them back and they could just 
do that again. <laughs> of course, of course. And you know your sister, she's starting there today. So look out for her while you're there. Of course, of course. I absolutely will. She'll be sheltered under my wing, Dad. That's what I like to hear. I like to see my two girls getting along. Mm -hmm. It's great to hear. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, honey. Well, the chauffeur will be here in just a moment to take you to school. So uh, if you need anything, call one of the butlers and they'll be there to help you. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll call one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he goes, he goes back to his newspaper. She's like just looking across at him and is like just drumming her fingers slightly on the table before being like, um, right, well then I should get going. Uh, do you think this is a good look for school for my first day? It's a nice... He folds the newspaper back down and he kind of looks and he goes, yeah, it looks great. Mm. Mm. Great. Well, thanks. Uh, and then she's uh, gonna like walk down the table, do like an air kiss, like not even touch like the side of his face or anything like, Mwah. okay. He does like that head tilt and like- Yeah, like mm -hmm, not really putting any effort in. Mm -hmm. uh, and she goes, okay, then bye. I'll bye dear. Wait outside. Mm. Okay. And like the Rolls Royce of T Series cars rolls up, um, to the and like it's like stretched limo essentially rolls up to the front, uh, in this long driveway, um, and uh, your driver steps out, and he is a tall, thin man. Um, this man has probably been, uh, unless correct me if I'm wrong, he has probably been your driver since you were a very, like very you. little, very, yeah. very little. So this is this is Gilly. He has been your he. <laughs> He has been your butler and like your attendant since you were very, very little. He's like your Alfred to your Bruce Wayne. Um, ah! So he's he's got like the like thinning hair on top with a little bit of gray on the side. Um, he's in a very, very fine suit. Um, he looks old, but he also looks like he could be dangerous. Like he's just kind of <laughs> got that air about him. You know, like the the butler from Princess Diaries. Like he he's gonna oh. he looks old, but like he could kill you. If he needs I love to. him. Um, I've just met him, and if anything happened to him, I'd kill everyone in this call and then myself. And, and he goes, Lilac, you look stunning today. You look lovely today. Thank you, Gilly. You're, you always know what to say. Thank you. You ready for your first day? Put in all that hard work, I bet? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm so ready to go. Um... She's like wiping away like any sort of sweat that she might have had on her hands, like just gone. Like she's just wipe brushing off, but she's kind of disguising it. But she knows that he knows. He, he he's already got a he, towel extended. She's thank you. I'm just a little nervous. I've planned out so much, and if it doesn't go to plan, <laughs> I don't know what to do. And when those moments happen, what do we do? We take a deep breath. And we find a solution. Yes, we find the solution. And when you come home, we can use the rage room to take out all the aggression from the day. Yes. Oh, yes. I haven't used the rage room in weeks. I've got so much pent up. Well, it's going to be will, great. Yes, we can take care of it after school. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we better go if we want to be traffic. Right. Okay. Thank you, and Gilly. He opens the door for you, for you to step mm -hmm. inside. She like goes in like ducks down. She's not actually that tall. She's like five, like four, five, five. But like she always wears these heels, like these heeled ankle boots and stuff, to like appear like five seven. So she like <laughs> ducks down to get in the car. Uh, so he closes the door behind you, and he goes, and off we go. And the the car takes off down the street. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, is there anything you want to do on the car ride over to school? Um, I think she's probably on her phone checking out anyone who's tagged the location of the school and is scoping out every single one of her new classmates. Uh, I would say, so you would see, you know, you'd see, I don't know if you, the rest of y'all, if you would post on social media about- 100%. Whole time. 100%. <laughs> you see an advertisement for the superhero club. 
uh, you super know, super duper club. The super she, duper club. She clicks on the settings, clicks not interested. Oh, so no. that way it doesn't come up. <laughs> Fucking out! Emotional Damn. damage! Damn. Oh. Do we have uh, hit points in this game? I feel like I gotta. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see, you see, there is an announcement for the cheerleading tryouts tomorrow. Um, uh, same. Which, same. Uh, you see, um, uh, one particular guy catches your eye. Uh, it's Jackson Thompson, but it's Jax spelled with an X instead of CK. Oh, what a um, rebel! Uh, he's the he's the star quarterback uh, of the of the school, and he's he's posted a new selfie. And he's he's looking very handsome. Um, she, she like clicks on his profile, checks his followers, is like, hmm, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, and you see an advertisement that the homecoming dance is next weekend, so it's a reminder to get your get your tickets uh, for the homecoming dance. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, so that's those are the things you see on social media for now. So all of you arrive at the Arkin School for Magic and Technology. It is the most highly revered institution in all of Bastion. The chance to study here nearly guarantees you success in whatever field you pursue after school. And to call it simply school understates the size of this place. It is more akin to a complex. There are stadiums for sports, there's concert halls, theaters, laboratories, a library that would make the exalted core jealous, endless classrooms upon classrooms. Its outward appearance looks like that of three crystalline large domes, with shifting arcane panels along the outside displaying the time, announcements, um, advertisements, as I said, for homecoming or other things happening throughout the school. Uh, you see there are coffee and breakfast and school supply stalls that float kind of on these little platforms along the entryway for students who are maybe running a little bit late. Uh, <laughs> rally, I'm sorry, is grabbing some. <laughs> uh, and then there's two large uh, crystalline uh, structures that flank the main massive double door entrance to the schools. Uh, you all make your way uh, through the river of students and we're going to start with Rally and Nithira. So, what are the two of you doing before your, the first spell? I have been trying to... I've, I've been taking whatever free things I could find <laughs> as they float by. And, like, taking photos and, like, trying to... To put it simply, Rally's, like, uh, social media presence is uh, next to none. But he carries himself as if he has more followers than he does. Because he believes that confidence what? is key. Uh, oh, so, he's just been, like, taking funny. pictures of like random things they're all blurry and kind of crap but like there are a handful of really nice pictures that he's not posting that are just of him and like nathira as like make they make their way through the campus just like one of one of those like <laughs> kind of things it's just the in the background like <laughs> stop i love them so much i'm obsessed they deserve With so those much in the more favorites than what on his crystal I can also just imagine, like, because he doesn't have his books, he's just picking up notebooks, and the theater's like, no, no, let me help, let me help. And so he's just taking all of these crazy photos, and she's just like, no, 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 I got it, just let me help. <laughs> like... I got it, I got it. There's so stuff. much just free like... stuff, though. This so is much so free cool. Stuff. You need all of it. I do. He's get a free tote bag. <laughs> Dude, I, he, like, shouts out to, like, the crowd of, like, people... Like, does anyone know where to find, like, free tote bags or, like, a backpack at all? So the two of you are just carrying all of these books and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, a water bottle! <laughs> uh, there's so- I took, like, four of those free ones, like, Can, the ones that taste like tin. And this tin. one's got a really cool straw! Oh my god. I love- re reusable straws, they're the future. Yeah! Can the two of you make me mundane rolls? Oh my God. I would love to. What does that So mean? roll 2d6 and add your mundane score to it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the first rolls of the game. Uh, it's not going to be good. My Especially mundane using... score. 13. Oh! I rolled a 5 and a 6. And I, have a I, got an, I got an 8. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Nathira, you're less successful with holding all of these things as you're kind of stumbling. Oh, you bump, 
No, wait, grab it before it rolls down the hill. It took us so long to get here. The commitment to the role play. It's it's flat. Rally, you are balancing everything perfectly with a 13. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Definitely. And um, you come to a stall where are, they are giving out uh, tote bags. They are Can giving I have out five. Uh, and you see the 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 man behind the booth, and he goes, uh, I, "I can give you two. Um, and uh, it's so it is a tote bag, and on the side it says, uh, "Practice safe sex." On the side, as <laughs> they put like, as they put condoms in the bag, and they go, "Well," and he looks at the two of you, "Be safe," as he hands you uh, these bags. Why was um, school? Is this the protection they were talking about? Oh my god. What? Well, here are some pamphlets, and he starts handing you some pamphlets. I He starts like, oh shit. <laughs> like, person dropping all this stuff. Uh, he drops like two water bottles as he grabs the pamphlet and starts like reading through it while dumping all the other stuff in the bag and like. Okay, so when a man and a woman or anyone of any gender love each other very much. <laughs> It's like reading it out loud. This I this carrying bit is gonna be the ongoing bit for the entire campaign. Yes. I I'm calling know it. it right now. Oh god! <laughs> just have this in we hand need all to the get time. anything, just <laughs> rally. I got gonna... it. Uh, rally also drops like a business card for the rally point. Just be like, also for all your comic book needs or oh. whatever else we sell. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's a cool place for cool people like like me and my best friend right here and I like motion this is like a it. stack of books that's <laughs> right here coolest person i know oh, oh well you you be cool together now and safe and safe we will we have the pamphlet excellent <laughs> i don't know if okay um uh... rally don't we... Huh? These are all your things. Do you want me? I can hold on. It's okay. Actually, no, I got them. I, I got them. She got her backpack and I... is now putting it on the other no. one. <laughs> I feel bad now. No, give me the, give me my stuff back. You had a here. lot of pancakes though. You know how you get like really queasy, and I don't. You know how school ended last year. I just don't. I, you know, gotta make good first impression. I mean, yeah, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't want you to have to carry everything. You can take the pamphlet. I can take I my mean, stuff I don't... back. I think you can keep the pamphlet. I don't really know if I, I need I don't that. really know any of the stuff that's in here. I, I don't, yeah, it just sounded like a lot of words. I don't really hear at home. I, I don't from think what I gather, it's some sort of fight technique, I think. Oh, it's when two oh people, that's kind of like, cool. You're really good at fighting. I kind of, I mean, they like go, uh, supposedly they like go into a room somewhere and I assume they fight to the death. It does <laughs> say something about finishing them off, but I don't really know what that means. I think it's like the final blow. You just like release your full there, power. There is something about blowing in here. <laughs> there is? Okay, so we, we were on the right are, We have this unlocked. This I don't a, think we need the pamphlet. I hand start. it to the nearest person. <laughs> like, you see the guy takes the pamphlet and he's like... That, Remember they, to be they, safe. They, Wear your armor. Remember to finish them off. Blowing is important. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. you see like this, like a group, a couple of kids around you all kind of hear you and like roll their eyes and begin to like walk away like there's a little bit of a distance around like <laughs> you guys from the rest of the students now rally um, point games for all your comic book me oh you're rally, this, is a, this really is a little heavy can you i, could, I grab okay, it yeah, right, okay, just okay, kind of like thanks. for a really scrawny a kid rally is like weirdly strong when it comes to like carrying shit it's <laughs> just like all right all right so the the two of you if there's nothing else before you, the the first bell uh, I'm going to I'm going to move over to <laughs> that was wild uh, to that was Ali... the funniest thing I've ever seen. Leia, Leia, to... Leia. Hold on. Leia, it's okay. You can just say. Got Leia. it. So we cut over Leia. to Alfonso. Uh, Leia, uh, Leia, Alea. I thought it was Alaya. Alaya, Alaya, Alaya. What an alligator. Alaya. We'll make. You know what? We'll make a running joke that no one says her name. Or... Oh God. It's a different um, every time. Oh. Don't so, <laughs> so the your mom's car pulls into the employee like parking lot off to the side, and she goes, "Well, do you, I, I, I totally spaced. Uh, do you want me to drop you off in front by the rest uh, where the students come in, or uh, no? I can walk. Uh, it seems like it seems like it's kind of a lot. Uh, you know, 
I'll be easier to, it'll be easier for me to navigate here. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you in there then. Uh, I've got to head off to that meeting and, uh, they've got, um, food stalls and everything up front. So if you're hungry, you can go grab some food. Yeah. Yeah. I will, I'll maybe grab some granola bars or something. Uh, do you need, do you need money or do you have some? No, dad, dad gave me, I have some money. Of course he did. Of course he did. <clears throat> and you see, she lights up a cigarette. <laughs> All right, honey, you have a great first day. Um, I need to make a quick phone call before this meeting. Love um, you. Love you, and she kisses you on the forehead. And you can, as she pulls out her crystal, you can see she's dialing your dad's phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> as she's as she's walking away, and you can hear her in the distance. How many times do I have to tell you? Just and as she walks into the school, um, what does Alaya? Alea? Alea. Alea. I was so confident. So I was so confident. Do this. Fuck. Alea. I have the I have the pronunciation in front Alea. of me and I looked at so Alea. What does Albatross you do even leaned dad? into your camera. Alea. Alea. So what do you do before school while you're while you're on the school grounds? Um I am probably going to uh head to the fair. I suppose yeah. it's called um, for the students, but I'm just kind of going to look around and see, um, honestly, if anyone talks to me, <laughs> I'm not going to talk to anyone first, but if anyone okay. says hi or says anything, then I'll, I'm, I'm just kind of like passively trying to make friends. <laughs> Got it. Um, so you see a booth that is, uh, selling granola, granola bars and like healthier snacks. Um, you've got, what kind of granola bars do you get? Oh, I get the honey with the cranberries, obviously. Solid. Solid I like cheese. chocolate, but I only like dark chocolate and white chocolate, not milk chocolate. Milk chocolate's weird. But can you give me and assess the situation, uh, as you're, <laughs> as you're in the, in the area? <laughs> yeah. Let me... As you're trying to passively make friends. <laughs> okay, let me see. Roll low enough and you meet Rally. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Plus my superior. Yes, his superior. Is yeah. going to be uh, a solid eight. That's solid a strong eight. eight. Um, so you can, you can ask like one question, which we can kind of adjust these is uh what here can i use to blank you know we could say like make a friend um who here amongst the crowd is the biggest threat like kind I'm gonna, of i'm gonna say how how could we best end this quickly <laughs> um there you know you can go like straight I'm like inside. i need to talk at least to one person and then i'll be like i'll be able to tell my mom i talked to somebody so you see these two people kind of with they've got like these bags looped around their shoulders um and there's like everybody's kind of like avoiding them so they're kind of remote like away from people so it's not a huge group and they look to be like talking about a pamphlet of some sort um and uh while well, everybody else is kind of not giving them the time of day they look kind of isolated from the rest of the crowd i'm gonna walk over to them but i'm not I'm, I'm just kind of going to stand next to them and wait for them to say something. So <laughs> Rally, notice? yeah, Rally and Nathira, you see, uh, you see Alea come up and stand next to you and just kind of stand there. Do I know Alea? You might, you might recognize her from, uh, I don't uh, know, paparazzi photos with Nova? Um, make... You know what? Uh, let's see. Does she look really sad and lonely like us? <laughs> well, yes. uh, yes, Alea, <laughs> yes. Um, and short answer, yes. <laughs> uh, Rally, because of your extensive knowledge of comic books, you would have definitely seen uh this person like in a paparazzi photo, like like uh Cam had said with Nova. Just oh. wide-eyed, oh, no. stops everything, <laughs> pushes all the other people out of the way. Just be like, "Hi, uh, you. Hi, I. I recognize you. Hello, my name is Rally. Do you know Nova?" Yeah, 
Um, he's my dad. He's your dad? Hey, Thera, come over here. Hey, Thera, come over here right now. Yeah, yeah, hi, hi. Nova's, Nova's their dad. That's so cool. Uh, Hold on one second. Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> do you, you live it? with your you you live with your dad? Um, sometimes. That's and she and freaking the is looking at um Rally's face and can see the excitement. So she's like, okay, we're excited. That's really cool. Yeah, Nova's your name super is awesome. Name? Yeah, he's. He's cool. He's nice. Um, your name is Nathira? Yeah. That's, um, that's a nice name. Thanks. You got a, you got a nice eye. Um, <laughs> you seem awkward like me here. And she's going to pull out one of the green flowers that Rally had given her. Been like, your eye's really cool. <gasps> if you want it. I don't, maybe that's awkward. No, I, no, oh, no. Yeah, cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This and she kind of like she kind of looks at Rally like Rally is in like full support of this. Like, do you want to? Where are we going again? We're going to school, right? There is an assembly <laughs> uh, that when the bell starts, everybody will go to the auditorium. This is a really have cool you flower. have you it heard? Only grows in certain conditions. It just looked like one of your eyes, so I, I yeah, I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, but if you dad, I like your freckles, Nova, huh? I like your freckles. Oh, thanks. They're totally real. I can, oh, yeah, I can tell. Thanks. Riley like um, nudges Nathan and she's like, "That's not a thing that people say." That's, yeah. Um, Riley's got a really cool club. If you ever want to hang out, what's your club? This it's yeah, the Rally. super duper club. I I I I, I, I haven't written the speech yet. But um, it's like uh, just like elevator speech. We practice ele- this, th- but there's no elevators around. Shoot, you're right. Um, it's really cool. It takes out like a keychain, and it's like I, I guess I'll just roll for a random hero. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Here, I can I can pull up the a, list. It's a rook. There's a rook keychain. Uh, it's like one of those like one. It's one of those ones you could like buy at a convention that are like super nice and they hang off of your bag. And it's just like, uh, you can take this. It has, it doesn't have our information on it, but I can give you a business card for a place that is also not where we're meeting, but I can give you that if you want to hang out. But, um, you guys are asking me to hang out. Do you want to hang out? You don't have to hang out. It's, it's I mean, fine if you don't like it. No, no, I, I'll hang out. What? Ethereal, we made another friend. Don't ruin it for us. I, I'm not. I, I don't think you guys are ruining it. I can see. hear you, by the way. <laughs> but I'm what if we do this? And he's like, oh, it's been secret. And, uh, so we have a club because I remember that was a part of the conversation. Yeah, we, did we have not, a club. Yeah, I remember. The, the super duper club. I think I'm giving a speech later where I'll probably have oh, more information. Cool. You should totally listen. It's going to be like the best speech of all time. I think I have to listen because we all have to be at the assembly, but I will listen. I will make sure to listen. Well, I mean, yeah. like, you know, a lot of people are there, but not a lot of people, you know, not a lot of people pay attention. A lot of people like so scrolling like if you through listen, their things. Yeah. People did that at my last birthday party. We we said we wouldn't talk about that. You I, you gotta be you gotta be. Nice the basis of all good friendships is honesty, and I feel like I should set expectations accordingly. Are you excited for class? <laughs> she says, looking back at it, yeah. <laughs> Leia. Yeah, I um. I have I have biology and engineering, which I'm excited for. We have the same classes too. I got my books, and she's gonna like <laughs> fling her bag around and pull out one of them. Look, you look at the Rally human with body. That's, Whoa. I'm so excited. That that, that, I have that doesn't a, seem very I have inclusive. books too. We have the same book. Bu- I mean, yeah, we have the same book. That's we have so the same cool. book. Oh, Rally just pulls Rally. out a comic book because he doesn't have any of his school books. That's Rally. also a book, Rally. <laughs> 
Some of these diagrams are the same from the pamphlet. Are they? <laughs> what pamphlet? Anyways, I... that was the pamphlet on uh, final blows. Mm -hmm. But yeah, biology. Like fighting? Yeah, yes. exactly. Like, why did you fight too? I don't. But do you? No. I do. Mm. No, I my my mom says that uh, fighting is for um, people who don't know how to use their words. I don't know. People use a lot of words when they fight me. <laughs> so the three of yeah. you hear, hear, a, <laughs> hear a commotion, hear a commotion behind you as the sound of a car and some music kind of like can be heard behind as this very extravagant car pulls up and you we see Gilly step out and open up the door uh for Lilac who immediately you are flanked by your cronies by Hi, your Lilac. you know your your friends um as they all basically like in formation with you um Lilac how are you Oh my god Yasmin Yasmina it's so good to see you <laughs> Jesus Christ! God. I haven't You're killing seen me. You in so long. I haven't seen you in so long. Was they it do like, like the mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. Oh, I'm so excited to see you guys here. It's so nice to have friendly faces for me because I was, I was so nervous. You know, the first day of school can really get everybody. How are you guys doing? Are you guys okay? You are fine, and you know you're gonna do amazing. You're gonna do so great. You guys, you're the She's best. She's gonna do a little air hug with them, like a little. And the, uh, and little uh, <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. These little stalls and such. Is that for everybody? Oh, uh, uh, I guess you know. So um, nice. So you are now with your with your bees around you, mm -hmm. uh, lilac. Um, what do you do before the school day starts? I think she'll kind of look around the fair. She's keeping an eye out for anyone that she thinks, you could be cool. You could be interesting. You look smart. I'm staying away from you. Um, but like, I think if anyone tries to offer her anything like like a freebie, she's like, oh, sorry, I don't take handouts. Everybody does. Everyone comes up to you and is like, here, um, try, you know, our oh, coffee. Uh, I, tell your dad about the coffee. It, it'll be great. Oh, totally i just i just don't take handouts just because i'm so fortunate there's so many other people here like on scholarships and stuff that could really make use of all of this but absolutely i totally will it's so good that you're doing this right right well you could pay for it if you wanted we could oh it's yeah. okay i had like a full breakfast this morning uh and i'm caffeined up for the day but thank you so much right right uh can you give me and assess the situation yes to Ooh. size up the crowd. What am I rolling for that? Like, uh, I'm so you're going to roll 2d6 but... and add your superior. Oh, great, because that's really high for me. Yeah, yep. uh, so I just rolled a 6 and a 5, so that's an 11 there plus okay. whatever my superior is, which is a yeah. plus 1, so 12. Um, so there's a list of questions you can ask. Um, mm -hmm. You get 2 because you rolled above an a 10. Um, mm -hmm. So there's uh, what here can I use? Um who's the biggest threat, uh, what's most vulnerable to me, or you can ask another question kind of related to what your original purpose was. Uh, what here can I use? Uh, except can we alter that to who here can I use? Yes. And yes, of we can. instead of what here is the biggest threat, who here is the biggest threat? Okay. So I would, I would say who you can use is you see there is a council or there's a table for the student council. Mm -hmm. Um, and you see there is a short, um, you know, she's got a short, like red hair, um, kind of like almost like a bob, um, sitting behind the desk and she's just kind of like, um, basically she's got a sign that says sign up for student council elections here. Um, and she's just trying to get people's attention, but nobody's really listening to her, uh, as she's reaching out. Um, and then you see who's the biggest threat is you see a, uh, tall, She's got dark hair that's pulled up into like a very, very tight, high ponytail. Um, she's very, you would know this as your neighbor down the street. This is Mabel. Um, mm -hmm. This is Mabel Doddard. Uh, and she is about as close to a rival as you can get. Um, 
Uh, her father wasn't a famous hero, but her father is a politician. Um, oh. Yes. So you would have um, you would have crossed paths many, many times. Uh, and you see she has a clipboard and she's already passing out buttons to elect her student herself student council pre president. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, she's handing out snacks and everything like that and laughing at everyone's jokes. Um, she is your, I would say, your biggest threat. So the girl Thanks. sitting at girl sitting at the booth is uh, someone you could use, and Maybell is your greatest threat. Mm, okay, she'll head over to uh, the school council girl first, so over to that table. Yes. Um, she'll say hi. Uh, are these where we sign up to join the the school council? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, what position are you interested in? Oh, I would fill any position that would be open. You know, I just want to do my part to help. Oh, okay. Um, well, there's the president, there's the vice president, there's the treasurer, uh, the secretary, um, there is uh, the note taker. Um, uh, so any of those, and she turns the clipboard around to you. Why don't I just sign up for president? And then if I don't get that, you can then just choose wherever you want to put me. Oh, uh... You I seem don't... pretty skilled at this. Like, I'm sure you'd be great at assigning roles. Wait, actually, why are you signed up as president? Uh, no, no, I, 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 I get too nervous. I could never be the president. Are you sure? Because you're like running this whole stall so well. You know what? <laughs> I'll sign up for president if you sign up for vice president. And she like kind of, her cheeks blush a little bit. And she goes... You think I could do that? Yeah, what's your name? Uh, I'm Avon. Avon Darkwell. It's it's nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you too. She's gonna reach out home. I'm Lilac Marie Roseanne Everbright. Oh but you can just call me Lilac. And she shakes your hand and there's there's this look that you see on her face that you have seen a thousand times. It's when people when you say your full name and they recognize who you are. Mm. And she has that look for a moment, and then she just looks like she stifles it as she shakes your hand. It's so nice to meet you. Right, okay, so I'm putting down, and she takes a pen, uh, and then writes down her name, and then she writes down Avon's name in oh. the vice president area. There we go! All done. Yeah. Uh, great. Um, fingers crossed we get it. <laughs> yes, yes. F fing fingers crossed. Absolutely. Um... Right. Well, then, you know, what? we should really get some more traffic going for your stall. So, um, everyone, as you just sort of turn around, clap our hands and be like, this year's the school council signups. Please come on over. We need everyone to work together to make sure that the school community is as strong as the school's reputation. And you see uh, Maybell walks over and goes, Lilac, pleasure <sighs> to see you as always. Mabel. I mean, could you look this quickly? And she's just gonna like, with Mabel's hand, like that's out, she's just gonna put like a compact mirror there, pull out her lip gloss and just go, um, okay, great. Oh, thank you so much. I've been meaning to do that. Of course, you gotta cover hours. up the canker sores. Yeah. <gasps> oh, well, you know, sometimes with public speaking, your mouth gets so dry and I've been doing my best to really encourage people. Of course, with some of the issues that have been going on downtown, with some villains now and then, people really need someone to help inspire them. So my lips are a little chapped from that. But, you know, this is a really great lip oil. You know, it is it is new. It hasn't actually been released yet. This is actually just a tester. But, you know, if you're interested, I can get you one because I can see you have a little sore just here. And if you're... And she, like, she snaps out a mirror like immediately and like that would be great thanks Absolutely. lilac you know i'll get someone to send it to your place of course of course you're running for president as well of course of course i am oh wonderful what what do you hope that you could give to the school i just think we need a sense of pride in our school you know mm. And you, you know Mabel. You've, you have been around her for a while. She tries to emulate her father's <laughs> mode of speech with, as a politician where they say a lot, but they really say nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and she just kind of begins to be like the pride in our school. And 
looking after our student body. She doesn't really outline any principles whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's so interesting that you're really highlighting on pride when it is one of the seven deadly sins. So really, shouldn't you as president be focusing more on honing community and honing team spirit to get everyone involved? Really, a president is only there to delegate tasks to uplift everyone to that same level. And she's making sure her voice is loud enough that it carries to other people around them. Yeah, there are people kind of stopping and like watching um, and listening. Um, she just kind of like, you're, you're right, as always, Lilac. As always. No, I don't want to step on your ideas because you are so smart. Like father, like daughter. You always know the right things to say. And I think that's going to do really well on the campaign to get going, you know? And I'm sure that it will carry through if you do get this role. And I'm more than happy to help you out in any way. I mean, if you went president, I would hope that you'd want me to be your vice president seeing as we're so close. We're the best of friends. Of course I would. <laughs> And she oh. goes in for like the the cheek kisses, mm -hmm. but like she uh, does, she's not even like close to you, just like on the outside doesn't actually. Mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think like as she, like Lila goes towards the side, she's gonna like turn to her ear and be like, "Good luck," and then move back and be like, <laughs> "You too, bitch," <laughs> and like leans away. <laughs> mm, all right, well, Yasmin, Yasmina, do you want to check out some of the other stalls? Bye, Avon. Uh, and she kind of waves furiously from the booth at you and Mabel just goes back to her handing out buttons. <laughs> so the bell rings um, for the uh, announcement that the uh, assembly is going to be held. Mm -hmm. And you all walk into this auditorium, uh, which is in one of the, uh, is in the main dome. And this auditorium easily seats the thousand student body. Um, the thousand, basically there, there's a max of thousand students and this is comfortable. There's floating platforms where students are sitting, um, you know, these kind of like floating bleachers, as well as your classic um, uh, traditional seats. Where would you all sit in the auditorium? I'm sitting in the very front because, because Rally's going to be giving a speech. So she's like, we should sit right here. It's because then don't. you can just, you don't have to like walk all the way out. Is there like a special place I'm supposed to be sitting as the person giving a speech? Uh, they'll call you. They'll call you up on stage when it's your turn. Oh, then I'm 100% sitting next to uh, Nathera, and I've like saved a space for our new best friend. Oh, yeah. Can't we? Can't we? Can't we just sit in the back? Like, I don't know. There's like less people here. But there's less people if we're facing forward. There's like only five. It is near the door. Yeah, in case of a fire, it's safer. This is true. Fire safety is very important. <laughs> if you guys want to sit in the front, I'll sit in the front with you. Well, we don't want to do anything if you're uncomfortable. No, I'm not. I'm cool as a cucumber. Can I insight check that? What, <laughs> what do I? <laughs> That's not the situation. <laughs> yeah, as, uh, give me an assess the situation roll, uh, Chris. Or Plus pierce the mask. Oh, I think oh, here's the max might be better. I think here's the max would be better. Yeah, so roll 2d6, oh. add your mundane score. These dice are legendary. I got a fucking uh, 13 again. Jesus. Oh my God. Five wow. and six. Holy I can fuck. take a picture. So I so the questions that you can normally ask is, what do you intend to do? How could I get your character to? How could I gain influence over you? What are you really planning? I would say we kind of adjust that to, what are you really feeling, maybe? Yeah. So... He gets an insight. You can to... ask three, technically. Oh, you can ask. Oh, because you rolled 13. Yeah. 10. So you can, yeah, you can roll or you could ask three the questions. Uh, yeah, I'll go with like, what are you really feeling? What do you actually want to do? Actually? How doing? Just how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, what is okay. your opinion of us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, which, which three? <laughs> uh... It feels like how a weird are you truth or dare game. We'll start with the first one. How how are you actually feeling about this? Um, Alea is uncomfortable constantly. You get the feeling that she's regularly uncomfortable. Uh, but she's she's like genuinely just kind of wants to do whatever you want to do because she is. Even if she's uncomfortable, she's like, well, these people actually talk to me, so they're my friends now, I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how it works, right? Oh, uh, I guess this. I don't. That, that kind of answered the second one, but I was gonna ask, uh, what does she, like, what do they actually want to do? Do they? Want I just want to. I just want to like impress to. you guys or make you think I'm I'm cool. Uh, I get, uh, the third one. I guess is just like you know I. How, how do you feel about the the two people in front of you who have coerced you into being their friend? You guys seem nice. <laughs> you look fine. I uh, like that you talk to me. That's nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, 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 this is a uh, deeply sad, <laughs> sad teenager. I, Doesn't know what's kinda, going on. In this, in this weird moment of clarity for Rally, because he usually he's very focused on other things, you see him kind of drop that like exterior of being just genuinely excited about everything, and he's just like, kind of like very serious. And he's like, "Look, you, you don't have to impress us or anything. You, if you don't want to sit in the front, we can just move somewhere else." I don't know if it's about fire safety or if like it's a some other thing that you got going on, but. We're not we're not picky we're not gonna stop talking to you if you don't want to sit in the front maybe um could we sit in the middle i just don't want to be way out front or like you know we can do the middle cool Pierre, what are your, your cool. opinions on the on the middle she looked sad for a second but then she's like, yeah, 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 the middle's totally fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Dare I assess the situation? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, by, by the way, uh, here, I, um, I really like your hair. Can you, you, the way you braided it. Oh, thanks. Seems like it's kept out of the way and safe. Yeah, it's really, it's, I, I wish I knew how to do it on my own. Um, we... Me and my dad have like someone who comes in and helps sometime, um, cause he's old and needs a lot of help. And so she braided she braided my hair like three days ago. That's why it's kind of like <clears throat> off to the side. And Rally gets me flowers, so it it looks a little bit nicer, so it doesn't look so crazy, you know. Oh, like like a gilly. You have like a gilly coming. Who's gilly? He's really nice. He's like a guy who um, plays board games with us and well with me and um drives me places sometimes like a dad. oh is he like the fill-in dad too i don't know how i feel about that exact word but yeah kind of <laughs> kind of like an uncle oh you know? cheats at fantasy monopoly He's, he's cool though. He he's not fantasy. He is fantasy cool. Monopoly yeah. is a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, is fantasy Monopoly called? <laughs> is it just Monop fantasy? It's, it's fantasy Monopoly. Monopoly. It's it Monopoly. is fantasy Monopoly. Monopoly. Uh, One of the the Mayfest quests is actually Nova's house. Yep, Nova's house. 100%. Yep. I always play Nova in the game. It's a it's a home you rule. Get, you I brought get my the own sun piece. piece, and that's it. <laughs> Amazing. Um. So Lilac, where are you sitting? Um, I think she's sitting at the front. Yep. She That is a large part of the reason. <laughs> Not want to sit at the front. Do you have any idea how tempted I was to just have Lilac be like, huh, why aren't you sitting at the front? But I, I was like, no. Oh. I won't yet. Uh but no, Lilac is sat at the front, uh, and she'll like sit down and then turn to the person behind her and be like, Let me know if I'm in your way at any point and you can't see, and I'll just move my head. I'll just scooch it a little bit. Okay. Okay. And you see it's Jackson, Jackson Thompson. And he goes, yeah, uh, pretty sure what I'm looking at is a little bit more entertaining than stage anyways, so that's fine. Well, we'll see if you change your mind if you're just looking at the back of my head. And then she's gonna like toss her hair. So like, as she as she smells like a lavender and stuff. And like, I imagine like the anime toss or like the sparkles like sort of thing as she tosses it and stuff. And then settles back down in her seat. Um, but she's now angled her head slightly to the side so he can get like a sight, like side view, like of her face mm. as she's looking up because she's like, he, mm, perfect. And Jackson's, he's this tall, like muscular uh, football player. He's got like the faux hawk. He's got like the brown hair that comes up into Beautiful. the faux hawk. He's yeah. Got, like the, he's got like the most annoying, annoyingly cut jaw. Um, yeah, he's wearing, he's wearing just like a hoodie and gray sweatpants on the first day. 
Um, mm. Yeah. Trashy. I like it. <laughs> I can uh, fix him. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right. <laughs> so the assembly begins. Um, and we see Ms. Rezana walks on stage. Um, and that is uh, Alea's mother. Uh, so she's got basically like a nice black suit on with uh, a red and gold tie, um, you know, um, like buttoned up really nice. She did a full Windsor, didn't do a half Windsor, full Windsor not. Um, her red hair has been pulled up into a ponytail. You see she like was flicking something off stage as she was walking on. And uh, Alea, you know that was a cigarette um, that she just like flicked away out of sight as she walks on stage and she takes her place on the podium. You see the platform that she's on rises up a little bit above the audience. And she taps the crystal mic in front of her and she goes, Students and staff, once again, it is time to welcome you all to a new year here at Arkin. I hope you had a restful summer break and you're ready to learn, create, discover, and grow as individuals this year at our school. I look out at all of you and I have no doubt in my mind that the future of Bastion is bright. And um, both Lilac and uh, Alea, I was close. Um, you both know that there's no way that she wrote this, like this speech that she's reading. Like this is, there's no way, this is too nice. She is nice to you all, but like, as far as like public speaking, it's not her jam. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she goes, <clears throat> clears her throat. A couple of announcements uh, before I release you to your first class for the day. And we get to our speeches. Uh, the homecoming dance. Fuck, I keep punching it. I'm gonna put it up the here. Canon within the universe really? that she just punched the microphone. She just punched the mic. <laughs> and you see she when she punches fuck. the mic, you'll notice just the bottom of it cracked just a little bit. Um, oh my God. She goes, the homecoming dance is next weekend. Uh, make sure to get your tickets uh, at lunch uh, throughout the week and make sure to document who your date is going to be. Uh, they will check at the door. Uh, the homecoming parade will be the Saturday morning before the dance. No fireworks this year, please. No fireworks this year as we had complaints uh, about some houses getting set on fire. Uh, we don't want to repeat again of last year. Uh, well, that being said, I'm going to pass the crystal off to some of our club managers to speak about their groups and why you should join. Please give them your full attention. Um, looks like we've got the super duper club first Woo! this is one voice <laughs> the only person Woo! as Woo! as mithra is like rally's also like yeah like, who's who's giving the speech <laughs> oh rally oh shit and you see that, that like right in the like... middle so you have to like edge out yeah. pause everyone i'm sorry i'd like step on someone's foot on accident like oh my god I'm so sorry. and you see you see uh the principals up on stage like clapping like, like grabbing like all my stuff <laughs> just come, like come knocking on. up the stuff. come on come it's on. taking a while you can see like as he approaches the stage rally gets like more and more nervous like based off of all the previous interactions he's generally pretty confident when it's like one-on-one -on -one, but like seeing all these people he's like oh fuck uh you see he takes out the the, the uh script that um Nathira definitely wrote for him on the way here uh, as he walks up the stairs to get on the stage, he trips and drops all of them, and now they're out of order, and he's kind of like, uh. There's some, like, giggles and snickers, like, in the audience that, you know, when you drop everything. Kind of, like, puts on his reading glasses. They have, like, a little sticker or whatever on them. He just gets up. Ah, uh, attention, students. Where are we? What does that say? Um, uh, I am, am Rally. I I uh, do do club things. I we're the super we're the super duper club. Uh, we, we like superheroes and we think the world should be a better place. I will now be listing all of the reasons why you should join our group. Thank you for your time. What? <laughs> and she goes, everyone, clap for Rally. Let's hear it for Rally in the super duper club. Uh, <laughs> You can see he's, like, visually very disappointed in himself. So he just kind of, like, trudges down the stage. 
As Suki uh, like goes past the like front row and stuff, yeah. Lilac will lean forward and be like, "It can be nervous, but you did a really good job." Thanks. <laughs> <Keep walking. laughs> it carries past. Um, and we see the principal watch Rally go sit next to Alea, and she cut like Alea. You notice that she kind of like makes eyes like. And then goes back to making the next announcement. Um, like, my my daughter made a friend. Let's go. Um, <laughs> um, and she goes, and now we'd like to welcome to the stage Lilac. Uh, just talk about the cheerleading tryouts. <laughs> of course. Um, Lilac will get up. And, Yasmin and Yasmina um, are like, yeah! Girls, girls, stop. I haven't even said anything yet. Uh, and then she goes up on stage. Uh, gets the mic. She's like, hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, well, for most of us, welcome to this new amazing school with such a fantastic reputation for studying the arcane and pushing everyone forward to the best of their capabilities. And what better way to push yourself than through physical exercise as well. We can't just rely on magic. Our physical bodies have to be in the best shape possible. So join the cheerleading tryouts. We don't really mind if you're new to it. We'd love to teach you. So no matter if you're skilled, no matter if you're new and you want to learn, please come along. We would love to see you there. It's going to be like a little family. And please don't worry. We accept everyone so even if you feel like you aren't like physically super capable we can help you we'd love to see you um please come wearing appropriate attire for it uh there are going to be like workouts beforehand and warm-ups as well so make sure you're wearing the proper shoes for it um and we'd love to see you okay thanks everybody so there's just thunderous applause as you head back into the auditorium um, and there's a couple other clubs that come up there. Uh, there's the botany club. There is the, uh, there's like the engineering, like robotics club. Also, like basically every, like there's the theater troupe that get up there and do a little skit. Um, there's the acapella choir. Um, they get up and there, they do their thing. There's the band, all sorts of things. And, uh, then you are released, uh, for your first class of the day. Uh, so we are going to do this in, uh, I think... I think everybody except for Alea is in Introduction to Arcane Studies, unless you want to take that as an extra credit course. I will do it as an extra credit course. <laughs> all right, all right. And also, I, I have a feeling that you would follow your new friends, just even though you were supposed to be at a different class. <laughs> yeah, You're not even know. in this class. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I am uh, cause, now. Because <laughs> you're, all, you're all in Introduction to Arcane Studies, uh, which is your first class of the day. It is a large lecture hall uh, with that stadium-type seating. And you all, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be very similar seating arrangements um, <laughs> as far like Lilac. I'm assuming you're in the front with your with Yasmin and Yasmina, mm -hmm. um, who tailored their schedule around yours to make sure you all had the same classes. Um, and uh, I'm assuming then the three of you are sitting in the middle or near the back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the class starts, and you see uh, P Professor Alaric is the arcane studies teacher he is a tall thin man with piercing blue eyes and a hawk like nose he's got a shock of white hair that sticks up in all different directions like very like um what do you uh, what's the scientist from uh um back, back to the to future. future yeah back yeah. to the future just very doc like brown. kind of doc brown doc. thank you um it looks like his hair is always being hit by a gust of wind it's just always kind of all over the place uh, he's wearing a flowing black robe that's adorned in arcane symbols. Uh, they're silver and gold, and he has a gnarled wooden staff uh, that is topped with a glowing crystal. And he comes up to uh, the front of the class, cl class, class, and he says, Students, welcome to your first day of arcane studies. A study of the arcane is essential to understanding our world and its future. We're going to begin today. Please uh, flip to page. Oh, what page was it again? 32 of your textbooks. We are going to begin with speaking about the weave. Who here can tell me what the weave is? 
Lilac will raise her hand like immediately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll let you roll for it. See Please. If, let, roll me 2d6 plus superior. Just roll me, a, give me a superior roll. Okay, I got a five and a two, and my plus superior two. is plus one, so that's eight. An eight. So the weave, you're like, oh, I think I, you had to like, you have to strain, but the weave is what makes up all magic. It is the, mm -hmm. basically the, it's where all magic stems from, uh, is basically, it's the building blocks. It's the atoms of magic, essentially. Mm -hmm. So that's what you would have studied about it. Yeah. So he goes, oh, uh, you right here in the front. <laughs> Thank you. It's lilac. Um, so the weave is like the web of magic that runs through this world, connecting different spots and allowing us to connect with it as well. Very good, very good. Excellent. Someone did their studying over the summer. Looks, and you were the only one who raised your hand, except for Mabel, but Mabel didn't get raise her hand fast enough. Um, <laughs> and she looks like, very good, very good. Uh, well, yes, the weave is the essence of magic. Every spell, every deity, everything that is arcane comes from the weave. And understanding how the weave works is essential to understanding how magic works. Um, and the class continues on and on. Uh, do you guys pay attention in class? Sporadically. <laughs> uh, Rally is like caught between like, yeah, this is interesting. I signed up for this, but also like, I just embarrassed myself before the entire school. So he, he takes out like a tiny little Tamagotchi like Nova toy. And he's just kind of like playing on it. Just like having it like beat up criminals and stuff. And it's just like, It'll be fine. I'm sure nobody noticed. Um, uh, I think well, I Lilac has... She's, like, focusing, but focusing on answering the questions as he asks. She's not focusing on anything he's saying, because, like, in her textbook, like, if anyone looked, there's already notes on every single page, like, the little highlighters, the little bookmarked bits and stuff already in there. So she's like, I know all this already. I've already done this lesson. I taught it to myself. So she's more like raising a hand to humor him and to again, like create like a perfect first impression. But most of the time she's actually just scoping around the class to see who else is listening intently, who else is trying to answer questions and stuff. Maybe she like catches like a layer's eye a couple times and then just glances over. Out. Alea <laughs> uh, and Nathira, the two of you are paying attention, right? Aaliyah. Yeah. I said it right this time. Like, don't correct yeah. myself. <laughs> ah. um, so the two of you are paying attention. Anything yeah. specific you want to do in class? I'm just writing down notes of every single thing he says. There's a uh, not... you write down his ums and ahs and oh I forgot. Yeah, like everything. <laughs> My God, stop. She's, She's basically so just like like live uh, live recording on her <laughs> on her notepad this entire thing. Riley draws like a tiny little sketch, like in the margins a of sketch. <laughs> is, like notes. Alea has like a, a little computer with like a Google Docs open, and then she'll share it with <laughs> with both of you guys <laughs> as she's typing it. Like here, that that that's when, what the friends do. Riley puts some like memes that he found online in the notes that have <laughs> nothing to do with like. It's like guys, check this out. This is super funny, right? <laughs> Stop, I'm gonna scream. So the rest of the class kind of goes uh, without, you know, it, it's a pretty, it's like almost like that syllabus lesson, right? Where it's like kind of just going over the basic information and everything like that. Um, and the next class kind of goes, you know, without, you know, incident as well. It's very much the same like syllabus. And it is time for lunch. It is time for lunch. So... Do you all eat in the cafeteria? Do you go eat outside? Where do you all go? Riley, where are we eating lunch? I I don't know. Um, are, do you want to go somewhere with a lot of people, or do you want to go to the club room? Let's go to the club room. We can we can we can set it up for later. It's true. We can like decorate. I brought like we so can much. Show Alea all your decorations. This is true. I left them at home, but I can you... decorate it with the stuff I have in this bag. Like, <laughs> um, I think that's a bagel. Uh, um, I love the use of props here. <laughs> we, I, there's some water bottles and a free T-shirt. Um, 
I also have the stuff that I just, I just like, grabs a bunch of stuff from his cargo pants pockets, and it's just like keychains and random memorabilia that he grabbed, thinking that like, yeah, he can hand these out and make friends, but he hasn't. He's just like... You gave me a keychain. This is true. I succeeded once. Everybody gets one. We can put the bowl out with these. As they're discussing lunch, Lilac might come over and be like, Alea! Hi. How are you doing? I, I, I'm, I'm doing good. I saw you answer the questions in class earlier. Well, I just did some light reading over summer. Are these your friends? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Rally, you would recognize Lilac as well. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that was actually the lowest roll I've had. Before. That was a one. But um, he, he, oddly enough, does not react the same way he did with Alea. He's just kind of like, this is just another person. But Alea's like, I think in his mind, he likes Alea more. So he's like, oh my God, you're like the, the child of Nova. And it's like, oh, you're... Also, you're that uh, person who talked to me when I uh, fucked up my speech. <laughs> like, uh, um, nice to meet you. I'm Rally. This is uh, Nathera. Wait, your your funny. eyes are the same color as my hair. They are. That is so cute. I love that. That's such a pretty color. It really suits you. Thanks. My mom made it. She well when she was alive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to talk about. Oh, it's all right. Dead mom club. And she'll like wiggle her fingers there. Um, and then uh, kind of pull back her hair and go, I get it. It's hard. Like when you don't know if you have to overshare or anything. So, um, Alea, um, dad just wanted me to check in. Um, we're going to go out for lunch. Did you want to come? Oh, um, you can you bring your related? friends. You guys We're sisters. Are you oh, don't you see the resemblance? You had a sister, Leia? I don't yeah. think he asked. Yeah, you guys didn't ask. We're sorry. It's been a very busy day. I'm just it's okay. sharing a lot. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I mean, I, do you, if, if you want, if you would like, if you would enjoy, um, yeah, if you, if you, if you would like to have us, right? Sure. Yeah, we'll come out. Like we were thinking, maybe sushi or something. But if you guys would rather something different, I heard there's some cute diners and such, so we can go to one of those. What do you guys feel like? I, I, did we have plans after this, Nathair? Were we gonna like play video games after this? Or oh, we did have, we... we did have, we did, have, and I feel like they're doing that thing again. Just like very audibly, like. <laughs> I, <laughs> you can like, still hear we, it. We like did we, have video games, but like, but I didn't. I didn't bring any like money because he packed my lunch this time. Um, that's true. I think I have money. Some he takes out like somebody else's wallet. It's like, oh, who is that? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was oh, one of the I freebies. Can, I can pay for you guys. It's okay. I can pay for you guys. Oh yeah, my god! It no, it's, <laughs> it's Jackson's I'm inviting. Wallet. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Wait, Stop. <laughs> Do you know this guy? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's. Jackson, I've only met him once. Did he lose it? No. No. Then why do you have it? Uh, I assumed he was handing it out. He was at one of those, like, it was on the table. I thought it was a freebie. He oh. Like, oh. pockets the money out of it, and it's like, <laughs> we could give it back to him if it's yeah, not. I'll, I assumed we I'll take that for him. Once. Yeah. It has no money Honestly, in it now. <laughs> that's fine uh she'll just put that in her bag i would kind of be like mm, okay uh and then she'd be like it's fine like if someone leaves a wallet on the table it's very silly you know, it's got their private details on it they have to be careful but honestly i invited you guys out so it's on me please oh so it's like a date i've heard of those is that what a date is i don't no. think that's what Ooh, a date but is that it's, but a date it's... is when the, somebody asks you to go to lunch and they pay for you have we that's gone just... on dates then because we've done that a lot well, it's our parents' money. That's different. It has to be our money. I mean, this is if it, dad's money, this is so. this, yeah, this is my dad's money. Like, our, kind of sorry, Jackson's our money? dad's money. So yeah, our dad, our dad. So it's, does that mean we're going uh, on a date with your dad? You've always wanted to be yeah. Nova. 
I have no, wanted to meet Nova. He has to be present. You want to meet Nova. Rally yeah. is like the biggest fan. I He's got him on a like, keychain. I He's do. Really nice. Kind of like takes out all the yeah, keychains. Just like, uh, would you like one? We're handing them out at our club meeting. Oh, they're so cute. Sure. <laughs> After having receiving all of these uh, comments, Alec, can I roll to like gauge what exactly is going on here? Like, am I yeah. being made fun of? You can give me a give me a pierce the mask. Absolutely, I think like Rally is suspicious of the situation, and is like this does like this doesn't seem on the level. Uh, let's pierce the mask. I it's uh mundane. So add roll so. roll two d six in Edmund Dane. Uh, seven. A seven. So you can ask one question. Um, it's a mixed success. Hmm. Uh... There's a question that may, might work. What are you really planning? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. What are you really planning? Um, she's really planning to see what sort of uh, social benefit her sister will have from being friends with the two of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, damn. Would this... in Within... Ha, hmm, having... Knowing what Riley knows, would he see this as like... Lilac act actively trying to use them? I Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Lilac, but I, it sounds like more like sizing you up. Pretty much, yeah. She's not trying to use them. To her, this is a little freebie for you. To her, she sees no use of either of you. <laughs> or of any of the three of them. Um, any of the three? <laughs> she, oh, sees, okay. she sees oh. no use. But she knows that she has to do checkups on her sister. Just to keep her dad off her back. And also because she knows that the principal is here. <laughs> Uh, so she's like, it's just easier for me to keep checks on. So she ha she's going to feel basically a lot better if she's like, yeah, these people aren't going to like cause her to get into situations that could bring a bit of a reputation to the family name, basically. Okay, yeah. Uh, Rally kind of like seems a little bit more guarded at this moment as he kind of turns and looks over at Nithira and is like, Kind of gives her the look of like, I don't know. Nathira is not the street smarts. She relies on Rally for this. <laughs> he gives you the look of like, this doesn't seem on the Should level, but going? if you want to make yeah. friends, we can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's go then. Do you want to head off? Yasmin, Yasmina, do you guys here? You guys go to lunch without me, and she'll give them like some money and stuff. Yeah, like, go for lunch without me. Without you? Um, Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. I want to. I heard this. I heard this guy talking about sex earlier in the quad. Are you sure you want him <laughs> hanging out with your sister? God damn it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this, this is the guy about the pamphlets. Yeah, yeah. He was, and sh and she was talking about blowing a lot. Even more reason for me to make sure that my sister is in safe hands. Oh, you're such Can a I good hear sister. this? <laughs> yup. Like it, they are not making it like like the whispering. They are like mm -hmm. making it like very obvious they're talking about you. But you're such a good sister. Thank you for lunch, Lila. Of course. Go go have fun. I'll see you guys after lunch. Okay. Are you guys talking lunch. about sex? Your shoelace is <laughs> untied. Uh, you took one of the pamphlets. And they like they fix their shoes and they scuttle off. That was so nice of you to let them know. They could have tripped and really hurt themselves. Yeah, I do it like on almost like every Tuesday. It's like a bad habit. Oh, weekly? It's just ever since I got into the accident, I get a little confused sometimes. But lunch? Yeah, sure. Yeah, lunch. Let's, uh, let's go. So, what kind of place are you? You're eating off campus then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have our bag lunches too, is the thing. Yeah, <laughs> so are you are you looking for a sushi place or she'll uh, she'll let them decide because she's like, I don't mind. I feel like your ass has reservations already. Yeah. <laughs> We're she, just she's also like Yasmina's place. 
<laughs> she's she's also just like I could walk into anywhere and get a table. Right, right. So Damn. she's so we, go mind. In, we go into a diner. We go into a sushi place. What are we feeling? She'll check probably with Nisera. I think she'll be like, so what's your sort of diet? Well, like the foods that you enjoy eating. Um, I I, I eat anything. What's like your favorite? I love beef burritos. Beef burritos? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. I know this great. I know this place that does great burritos. Uh, and she'll take them to like this, uh, maybe like, not like super high key fancy, but definitely not like a street corner sort of. Right. Uh, it's got like the three dollar signs on Google yeah. when you look it up. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I feel like every uh, time we're passing those like trashy low end places, she's like, maybe it's this one. I love this. Oh, it's not that one. <laughs> Maybe it's I love this but, oh. Rally's like consoling Nathan as we like walk along. It's like I it's important to try new things, I guess. I don't know. I guess I guess so. Uh and we pass I... by anywhere where Mabel is, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see Mabel? Uh Mabel is uh Mabel is like actually sitting at the coffee shop right next door. Uh as because I'm assuming Gilly drove you all to the restaurant. I'm assuming you had them ride. In the I car. was, I was gonna presume, but like, if yeah, they wanted yeah. to walk, she'd be like, "No, don't worry, Gilly, we'll walk." And Gilly actually just drives alongside. Alongside, him. yeah. Yes, oh, well, you all. How was your anniversary? Alea, it was lovely. Thank you so much for the card. I really appreciate it. Are you? And he kind of he steps out of the car and he goes, "Are you? How are, How was your first day? It's you been, doing good. It's been good. Only two friends so far, which was pretty cool. You have like." the parent trap handshake with him as he as he gives you a high five uh for making friends on your first day and he goes well if you need anything i'm here and he and he gets back in the car and continues to drive alongside of you um he's just following us yeah this car is following you all Um, security detail i'm used to it by now (laughs) again alfred to their their bruce wayne um and uh you get to this burrito restaurant Burrito Heaven. Yay! Burrito Heaven. heaven. It's a upscale uh, burrito restaurant. They have uh, um, they have really good guacamole, if you guys like it. Guacamole? Yeah, do you like guacamole? Do you know what guacamole is? I, like, as a concept? <laughs> <laughs> guacamole? I mean, uh, the avocado, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it was a new superhero? You never know with these days. No, I think I would know if there was a superhero named Guacamole. I feel like that's a pretty unique name, you know? You you would know that too, Riley. You think you like know all the superhero things. That's true. I don't yeah. know. It might have been like an off issue. I we lost a lot of the ones that but somebody left our delivery on the front porch and some of the comics were ruined. Oh I'm so sorry. That sucks. Yeah, just, Which just comics sad. were those? Uh he kinda like <laughs> goes through his inventory list that he has on his crystal, I guess. He's like, mm-hmm. uh, well, there was Nova 432. There was- mm-hmm. Oh, there is the-, the guacamole. Yeah, there it is. Mm. Uh, oh, it was his first issue, too. That's really disappointing. Oh, uh, and then, like, a couple a couple reprints. Uh, we also had, like, a- we had, we had one of those, I think they're called Junko Pops. Uh, we have a few of those coming in. Uh-huh. Oh, I collect those. They're so cool. I have a lot in the- I was gonna use those to decorate the room, but I left them at home. Oh, I- I could have Gilly go and pick up mine and yours, if you want, and then we can- we can do it. We could. That is After such a nice thing. idea. Yeah. It would be so nice. I think you guys should definitely do that. For your club, right? Yeah, the, yeah. the super duper club name pending, but, uh... I you, like um... it. Super duper sounds, uh, fun. Do you Thank wanna, you. um, do, do you, do you wanna come to it, Lila? I'll, I'll have to check my schedule just cause I'm trying to start campaigning for a school president, the school council president, so. Uh, I know but you there's know, no cheerleading practice today cause mom said there wasn't any, so you should be free. <laughs> At the mention of, uh, Dia, her smile pinches slightly. And she goes, Oh well, um maybe the doesn't Thursdays, know everything. 
um, cheerleading is on okay. uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Except you're for right. Wednesday. So I There's should be a game free. coming up, and then it's Fridays too. Wow, you know my whole schedule, school. It's so great. Um, Lyra knows my well, schedule. So how about those burritos? Right. Let's have some burritos. <laughs> like you, you can hear her stomach just rumbling. <laughs> during part like, of the conversation. There's chips, there's salsa, there's guacamole. And these burritos are <laughs> the size. What did I say? You said guacamole. Guacamole. I'm from Wisconsin. Leave me alone. Um, and guacamole. Guacamole. They bring you the fanciest biggest burritos you've ever seen and they're made they're it's probably the best tasting burritos you have ever had in your life mm. that's good right Rally. it's it's gonna be really good Rally. what what can you take can you take a photo i of, can show burton later my burrito of, oh of the burrito yeah sure burrito. kind of like takes like a bunch of like really nice uh pictures of the burritos it's like uh kind of, you should use rule of thirds i yeah i took like a a, a class on that before um i he kind of like shows some of the pictures he was taking uh during the during the the Bad thing beginning yeah part the, of the, the day the fair yeah in the beginning yeah Oops, and you good. You're good at that. thank you i try um kind of you looks should over really post these it's like very i i'm a big believer that like for certain precious memories you should just kind of keep them to yourself but i it's i like we could but and but i uh, i saw you earlier talking to to mabel uh do you do you know her yeah mabel is kind of a neighbor um you know we've known each other for a really long time uh, down the street from dad Yes, she does. You mm -hmm. know, you shouldn't talk about where people live exactly, honey. Just because. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just remember, I... like, security details. I mean, I already know where Mabel lives, though. We we used to we used to hang out when we were younger. Um... Did you? That is so interesting. Yeah, she uh kind of, like, takes <laughs> through the thing. He scrolls through the phone, like, far back. And you just see, like, the most, like, childish, sort of embarrassing photo of the two of them. And, like, also, uh, Nathira is there. And we're, like, dressed up as superheroes. It's like, um, yeah, she used to be really big on superheroes and the like. That is so cute. That picture is adorable. I don't know why she doesn't use that in her, like, school president campaign that would make her so relatable to everyone. I'm... <laughs> I'm Are you guys out of out of game. I'm so her? I'm debating if I'm just like, hey, you should use this. If that, I mean, I yeah, I could send it to you. Flip a want. coin. Flip a coin. <laughs> flip a coin. Roll, flip a coin. Roll the die again. Evens. I give it to you. Odds. I don't. Okay. Or I don't. I oh, wait. No. Evens was. Evens. Yeah, yeah. Evens was. So, um. I. If you think it's a it's a good candid shot, I could I could uh, send it to you. Oh, that would be so good. See, because I'm gonna be her vice president if she gets president. So. I thought you that were would going be so nice. President. You always said that vice just means second place. It's just because I want to make sure that I don't just get given spots just because of dad, you know? So when I spoke to Avon, who's helping run the school council, I said, look, I'll put down for president, but I'm not going to campaign. I'm not going to push myself out like super hard. I'm just going to let people know that I'm also running. But I want to really support Mabel. This is like a really great chance for her to run a project. That's so nice of you, Layla. Thanks, Alia. Alea. Albatross. <laughs> I think you did this to me, but it's okay. <laughs> I think it works, honestly, with the character. I thought it was in game. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was in game. Too. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> the rest of your lunch kind of goes. Uh, without incident now that you've secured this embarrassing photo of your rival. Um, and, uh, and Rally has revealed that they are childhood friends. Um, uh, are you all walking back to school or are you going to take the car? We can drive. We can go in the car if you want. 
I'm gonna sit in the in the like front passenger seat next to Gilly next and to Gilly. just start talking to him about like the the like <laughs> TV show that him and his wife are watching right now. Yep. Yeah, and he's like, you wouldn't believe what happened. And you, the two of you, are just gapping the whole way. Um, the three of you are in the back of this stretch limo. It's mm -hmm. like fine leather seats. There's snacks in here. There's like basically everything. It's basically a house in this in the back of this place. <laughs> His rally just shoving. Just shoving like, he's taking like just like grabs the whole thing. <laughs> God, you know if you, you press that button, a little drawer opens and there's like a mini fridge in there. This car is so fancy. I just have like a Ford. What's a car? I mean, I don't <laughs> Toyota Corolla. Born I don't own done. this. I'm I am so fortunate to be born into the family I am born into. None of this is mine. So <laughs> please feel free. <laughs> Go ahead. If you insist. Nathira is up... just watching Rally take everything and is just not touching anything. It's like part. a mouthful of food and like grabs like grabs like the, the snacks and candy that he knows that Nathira likes and he kinda like offers it's like do you want from? No, no, it's, it's okay. Okay, hold on for for later. I know you get hungry. No, 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 you should leave it. I, I have the I have the lunch in my backpack. You know, there's like a really cool thing here. If you press that button there, she's gonna say that to Nithira to like press a button like on this little console. Press that down, okay. and then like the sunroof like opens up like above them. Uh, and she's like, why don't you just stick your head out? It's really fun, really that seems freeing. Very dangerous. I can do it with you. You could do it. I could. I could watch and learn some. You tips. sure? She'll like go to stand totally. up and like reach out with her hand. Like, are you yeah, sure? Totally. She's got like her hands in between her legs, just like scrunching her body, looking up. Yeah, no, totally. It's very, very high. It looks looks a lot of fun from down here. It doesn't seem that high when you're standing up here, but sure. She'll like stand up, like her hair kind of goes off, like <laughs> out the back, uh, and then when she comes back in, her hair's like really voluminous and stuff, but again, not tangled at all. Yep, it's still oh perfect. God. It's still perfect. Beautifully windswept. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you sure you don't? Yeah, yeah, it's totally, it's totally fine. All right, no worries. She is like not budged from the place she sat in. Hmm. So the car raid back to school again. You know, we have Rally stuffing snacks, and uh, Alea and Gilly are just a gabbering away up front. Um, Nathira is in her spot in Lilac. You're showing them the mm. glory that is this limo. Uh, you pull back up to school and the rest of school kind of goes without incident. It's, it's you know, the introductory of the day uh, of, of the semester, all of the syllabi and everything like that. And over the announcements, it goes uh, Lilac, Everbright, Alea, Everbright, Rally, Wheeler, and Thera Silva, uh, please report to the sixth floor Arcanium after school. Please report to the sixth floor Arcanium after school. Thank you. Did we get Thank in you. trouble for going to get burritos? That's I what don't I'm know. Saying. I don't know. We're allowed off the campus. Trouble. That's really weird. Did we Let commit just... any crimes recently? Is this for the wallet? <gasps> oh, that was your I thought, rally. Oh, no. I thought it was free. Um, listen, it's okay. I have the wallet and we'll just explain the situation to them. I'm sure it's just a really big misunderstanding. We okay. should apologize. To Jackson, I'll find him. I'll let him know. I honestly, if if he hasn't, if he's one who's made the announcement and he's found it, I don't know if he noticed. But what about the club rally? We, got, we, we have the club yeah. after the club school. After. Um... I mean, quick. Should we make an announcement maybe that like we're meeting later? I don't really know what this, I don't know how long this could take, but I imagine it probably won't. We could probably just write it on the whiteboard in the classroom and be like, we'll be here. BRB. Yeah, B exactly, BR Nathira. <laughs> BRB seems seems appropriate. We can do like a little sketch of like, maybe like a little cute little Are character. Are you good at drawing? I'm pretty good at drawing. Kind of like shows his... He has his volumes of sketchbooks. Yeah, he has really like a good bunch at of drawing. Those. His like, I, I can't pictures draw people. Such. There is like a very detailed portrait of Nathira, and he kind of like flips past that. 
It's like, uh, <laughs> that was this really is a good. tree. No. Uh, it's a tree and I like another trees tree. Too. Yeah. Trees, are, trees are cool. Sarah hasn't seen any of this. <laughs> right. Well, this has been a blast. Um, so do we vote for you or Mabel for president? Whoever you want to vote for. I mean, of course, Riley, you're close to Mabel. It might be, and you were in that picture as well. So you guys, maybe it might be nice for her to get some friendly backup. I think she'd appreciate it. Absolutely. In her head, she's literally thinking, what's two more votes? <laughs> possible i don't know what are your policies mine <laughs> so with my presence with my president run like if i were to be school council president i'd be focusing on creating a community board or community hub where that way more people can set up clubs that way they can really push on their own uh, interests and other people who share those same interests build miniature communities within the school community because that strengthens everybody when they find something they're interested and passionate with i'd want to help people get extracurricular sort of uh things to help on their resumes and such mm. There's a lot Sorry, of community. There's a lot of burrito. It's a yeah, big it's ecosystem. A big yeah, you like plants and stuff. That's a really nice way of putting it. Ecosystem. I like that. I might use that. If you don't you like mind. plants too. I do like plants. Kind of like shows a couple like sketches that were probably taken from like a science book that he copied down and like <laughs> other plants and flowers and stuff. Alea will show uh her sketchbook is literally all just plants but it's like the same sketch of the same plants over and over like she's studying the same picture and that's all she does <laughs> i Very consistent flowers are pretty these are really good I... these aren't flowers actually these mm. are um different uh forms of prairie plants so while they may look like they flower um actually they end up uh going into berries this one um is really sweet it's nice it grows by mountains Amazing. That's really cool. Are you going to be joining the Botany Club? Do you think I should? Well, you know, it'd be such a waste of someone with your intellectual skill and talents and with your knowledge of this to not share it with people. Absolutely, so you... you should. Okay, then I will. Great. Um, and if you want, Alea, you can always come to cheerleading tryouts because I know we're both doing physical education. So it might be great to show some power sisters. <laughs> Do you think I'd be good at that? I think you could be good at anything that you put your mind to. Cool. cool. Well, this has been fun. I'll see you guys. Uh, she doesn't say later. She doesn't see tomorrow. She just says, I'll see you guys. Right. And then leaves. Even though you're all heading to the same place, do you leave? Are we them? heading now? Well, I, I, oh. I mean, unless there's anything else at the end of the day that you all want to do before the oh, before no. you go to the arcade. I'm going to say, I'm going to go and try to find Mabel. Uh, she's sitting by the club's club room for the meeting. For uh, Super Duper? For yeah. Super Duper. Yeah, she's, she's a member of the Super Duper club. And it's she's got you see when you get there she's got a hoodie with like the hood up and sunglasses on and she goes uh, rally i thought the meeting was supposed to start 10 minutes ago did you not hear the announcement uh, i think i'm in trouble alongside like three other people Nathira is gonna be there too i she uh you, there's, hi mabel uh, hi Nathira. how you doing good that's nice i'm glad we're hanging out uh well uh, okay What's, are we gonna be meeting later then uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. I can text you. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be great. That'd be great. Uh, well, I'll... Do, you, do you want a keychain? <laughs> yeah, a yeah, I want a keychain. And what this is... Yes. <laughs> and she, she takes takes the keychain. Um, and she she turns to you, uh, Rally, and she goes, uh, by the way, are you going to homecoming next weekend? Kind of looks over at Nathira. Were we planning on going to homecoming next weekend? I don't know. We never talked about it. I did I, the way it was pitched. It seemed like we needed a date, and I don't really understand how that works. I don't I'll, either. Well, I'll I'll text you about it. If that's yeah, I'll text you about it. Yeah, sure, sounds good. This is going directly <laughs> over his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and um, why? Yeah. 
Why does Rally get so many bitches? <laughs> he like, he's like, oh, we should take like a, we should take a photo. As he kind of like grabs uh, Nathan and like gathers up uh. and like, takes a photo of the of the club room. And it's like he has like the pictures of the three members, possibly and, more. And do like, you pull Alea in too? Ah, uh, is Alea there? Not there. Yeah. No, oh, you're not there. Oh, you're not I have with another it. idea. Ah, okay. Um, Wait, I, you just take a, it's like, it's just like that other photo. It's great. Um, Nathira, can you make me an assess the situation, please? There's a reason why I have never made an assess the situation role. <laughs> why <laughs> is that? Her, this is her dump stat. Oh. oh. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> that's rough. Um, I'm gonna roll it. Well, but it's okay, not then me. make me, okay, then. Make me roll a mundane. Just roll me a mundane roll. Just uh Yeah, so roll two D6 and add your mundane or subtract your mundane, whatever it may be. I got an eight. Uh so with an eight, you just notice like as like you take the picture, you see Mabel's hand just kind of lingers on his shoulder for on Rally's shoulder for just like a second. Uh and then she brushes her hair behind her ear. Um and I, she goes this is a really good shot. She's yeah, she's great. Well, I'll I'll text you. Um, just let me know. Okay. Uh, sure. Bye, Nathira. Bye. And you see that she pulls the hood tight and like <laughs> takes off. Um, and... Do you think she's going to ask you about homecoming? I mean, she said she was going to ask me about homecoming. She said she was going to text me about it. I don't know if she's trying to get me to join the planning committee. I don't know what other club she's in, but I feel like we've already got a lot on our plate. But then why didn't she invite me? I don't know. Do you like planning stuff? I you, I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> I like plan everything. I plan all the video game days. I do That's take true. the notes. You do. I very club. much appreciate that. Sweet yeah, sunshine thanks. child. Um, I don't know. If it needs a date, we could just go. I. Yeah, I think we should just go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to be somewhere. Yeah, um, we got to go to the okay <laughs> again over his head he yep, invited yep. like <laughs> to be like yeah it'd be like you know when we get like fucking uh burritos or whatever like right it's, it's fun. I should yeah. so hard <laughs> so cute. uh so alea what are you up to before you before the end of the day uh alea has been um around people a lot of the day yes and it's kind of made her nervous okay um, because she's not quite used to that. So she takes some time and she finds, I'm assuming there's multiple gyms because of course there is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She takes some time, she kind of looks through and she tries to find a climbing gym that is empty. And she doesn't necessarily like throw on a harness and get everything together, but she just kind of like sits for a second in the dark and like collects herself and like breathes and just hey so a lot happened a lot has happened today um a lilac talked to you which is more than what she did last weekend which is cool but she was busy last weekend she was busy a lot she's busy a lot so it's no big deal and um you have two friends friends um maybe that's too presumptuous uh two people Two people talked to you that aren't blood related to you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're you're good. And she starts counting like to ten over and over again, and kind of breathing and collecting herself because it's been a lot to socialize today. Uh, do you do any climbing? Uh, after I calm down for a second, I will. Okay. Uh, I'll pull out the chocolates in my bag and like, kind of like, and just like get into uh, a state where she does not have to think about anything, where she can okay. just focus on her body. Okay. So as, as you're climbing, you hear the sounds of the door uh, to the gym as you're climbing. Um, and you see, uh, Jackson Thompson walks in with his gym bag and he's like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody was in here. Oh, uh, uh, no, but... I'm not. I'm not in here. Well, I no, I'm not in here. I'm not in here. 
that I mean you're you, in here. I'm I'm in here. Sorry. Sorry. You're, re you're really high up. Uh, that that's impressive. I don't even know if I can climb that wall. <laughs> you probably could. I mean, it's humanly possible. So if you're good. Do you, do you need do you need somebody to help you rappel down or you you got it? No, it's an auto I'm I'm good. I'll come down and <laughs> um, it will like come down. I'm assuming it's an automatic belay. So yeah. it, like you don't yeah. need hence why she would be comfortable climbing alone. Um and so she like comes down and then like unhooks herself and it goes up and uh she's like I'm sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to get in your way. I didn't know you oh, were gonna be here. You're not just nobody's usually in here after school and so I like to come in and climb. I I love climbing, so I, I always try to come here after school. Uh I, I'm Jackson, by the way. My friend stole your wallet. Yeah. Uh, well, they didn't steal it. You left it. You left it on the table. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> you, My sister you, has it. Your sister? Who's your sister? Lilac. Lilac's your sister. Oh. All right. Uh, well, whenever she sees you know me, her. I guess. I'll, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, Everybody I knows her. her. You know yeah. her. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, what's your name? Um, Alea. 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 Any extended hand? He's like, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jackson. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm. I'm gonna get to climbing. Uh, but I'll. I'll be. Uh, maybe I'll see you here next time. Uh. Probably not. No. Usually. Oh. No, you won't see me. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Does not know how to react. <laughs> all she right. definitely, like, in the process, just grabs her bag and forgets anything she took out of her bag. Um, uh, you, so. hey, wait, you forgot your... No, I'm good. I'm good. I didn't freak. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right. Um, Lilac, what are you doing before the meeting? Uh, before where you have to go she is like on her way to the meeting because she's like if i just hand in this wallet it gets over and done with i don't have to be here <laughs> Got it. um but as she's going she's on her crystal and she's ordering the first edition of guacamole and the missing edition of the nova comic that rally didn't get and she's ordering those uh Okay. And I think she's gonna go with like the signed editions that she's like she's like scrolled and found some signed editions. She's gone for those. Okay. All right. She uses the money right. <laughs> so you're you I'm living. You are the Redemption. first. You are the first one to the uh, the sixth level of the Arcanium. Essentially, this is a this is one of the school part of the school that's devoted specifically to the practices of magic. Mm -hmm. And the the Arcaniums are like these floating spherical classrooms. That are basically like, if you imagine a planetarium with the way that planets are like aligned, that's what these classrooms are like. So there's like this outer ring where these classrooms rotate to and you get inside and they continue to kind of move about. Hope um, y'all not motion sick. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and you see uh, this, this specifically, the this Arcanium is this kind of crystalline structure. And it's, it's I think, is opaque the right word where you can't see through? Is that the right word? Mm, your, yes. To your right, it's like kind of transparent, but not. Yes, not. Um, <laughs> and what you notice is peculiar is all the lights are off on this floor except for the lights within the Arcadia. Um, excuse me. Hello. Hi, sorry. If this is about the wallet, I have it here. Um, I'm just going to leave it like on a side or something. Okay. You see the door, the door just opens to the Arcadium. All right. Okay. Uh, and she kind of goes in, and she's like, "Hello." And the door closes behind you. Um, the 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 rest of the three of you are you making your way over there now? Making our way. Yeah. Pretty Downtown, much. Downtown. Welcome. To uh, I think like rallies. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, so rally. <laughs> yeah, rally. What were you doing? Rally. I, I guess like, uh, 
Yeah, I, I guess Riley is making conversation uh, with Nathira just like about, I guess, the day, like checking in, seeing how she's doing both emotionally and just like as a friend. Uh, and I guess also kind of like texting uh, Mabel to see what was going on with it. She'd be like, hey, you know, I know like if you if we if we're like, try, like, can uh, can Nathira also join the planning committee for for uh, homecoming or is this like a closed and, thing? And she goes oh planning, God. planning committee, question mark. It's like the he's like kind of like going down this, but like doesn't quite get to where the conversation would be like, yeah, I'm trying to invite you to prom. It's I, like I I don't know. I, I assumed it had something to do with the planning committee. I, I I've already got the one club on. I was thinking of joining uh, some some other club that would so, interest rally. You get a text uh, back that says you're lucky you're cute. Um, do you want to be my date to homecoming? Question mark. Like dot dot dot, dot we, question mark. Is this how we get to? Uh, yeah, you're gonna right get, around the time. You're gonna get, get to that the, right as it. you get to the Arcanium. Hey, Nathira, what's a date? That was what they were talking about with homecoming. Remember, remember when I asked if it was a date with Lilac because she was paying for her food. Wait, did we go on a date? Okay, with so Lilac? the way my dad explained, and I figured like they stopped right before. <laughs> yeah, the he's like, door, he like puts like, the phone yes, away. Yes, he's yes. like, <laughs> I'll get. He's like, so way, oh, I gotta way, go to the office, brb. <laughs> the way the way Burton explained it to me was like. That's what he and my mom did when they started hanging out all the time was they were going on dates. So like he would buy her a lot of food. So I don't know if I'm coming. They're buying people food, but maybe she wants to buy you food and then you guys go to the homecoming thing. I mean, free food I thought he said it was nice. a planning committee. That's what I thought. I texted her about that, but I kind of like looks at Nathira for a bit, like as they're standing outside of the office with nobody else around. No, kind of the like, lights are down, like, and it's just the Arcadium <laughs> and Lilac kind of, standing in an empty room <laughs> with the door <laughs> closed. Yeah. On her phone texting Yasmin and Yasmina, hey, <laughs> what are you guys yes. up to? It is a very specific <laughs> scenario with, like, the dimmed crystal light and, like, <laughs> Rally dressed in his, like, first day of school gear. It kind of, like, softens a bit and looks at uh, Nathira and kind of, like, Crosses his arms, just like, and like so earnestly asked, "Any theory? Do you think I'm cute?" Yeah, everyone thinks you're cute. We talk oh about this God. all the time. We do it like every Sunday. It's like la last school year it was like every Sunday we had the hype up talks. Remember, you were like, "I don't really, I don't really know if like so I'm not really looking forward to school." And I was like, "You're gonna be great," and like, "You're amazing." Everyone loves you. Everyone thinks you're so cute. And stuff, you know, like that's that hype you up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was more like a that was like more, more of a like a general thing. I, I assume that was just like get the confidence up. I'm 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 like, I don't know. What do you what do you personally think? Yeah, yeah, you're cute. Totally. <laughs> I think Mabel thinks you're cute too. I don't. Um. I don't know. She she told me I was. She said I was lucky that I'm cute. But like, I always assumed Wait, I was that? lucky that because like I. A threat. Can Lilac hear this? I, Lilac cannot cannot hear it, but Alea, as you're you're walking up in the middle of this conversation, <laughs> Riley's like a hundred percent thinks that like she's threatening him. It's like, did I, do you think I did something? Maybe I should have asked before I took the photo. Well, no, if she asked me? you on a date, then I think that's like you know she asked you to be a date. It's a good thing. Ask on a date. Who I asked don't you know. on a date? I Mabel know, asked really. him on a date. I don't. He kind of like hands the crystal to like Nathan. It's like, what do you think? If she's asking you on a date, huh. I think she kind of called you stupid. <gasps> but... there's, there's also like a lot of extra letters and a lot of emojis. Which Nathira yeah. doesn't know anything about flirting, so she doesn't understand. She thinks maybe her finger got stuck on the key. Because my, my, mm. my crystal gets a little wonky. It's a hand-me-down. Her phone screen um, is kind of like the crystal she screen is kind of shattered. I don't, I always assumed she was pretty smart. I don't know if we have any classes together. Do we have classes together? You have you have the first class because we're all in introduction together. to Arcane. This is yeah. true. Yep. Probably literally took it this morning. <laughs> I, Rally doesn't remember. 
Riley's going. Yeah, no, Riley's if you like, want to go on the Google Doc already. If you want to go on the date, yeah, you totally should. There you go. I could always meet you there at the homecoming thing. We shouldn't be late. I, I don't really get in trouble. Burton's going to be mad at me. And she's just mumbling this last bit as she pushes in the doors to let Riley's I'm very confused. Are you going it's like, to homecoming? Are we? Uh, when, um, uh, are you going to homecoming? I assumed we were going to go like... as a group. I is oh. it, kind of like trying to like trail after Nathir because he's like, he doesn't understand what just happened. He's like, uh, I guess we have to go to the office, but I'm gonna oh, okay. like, wait, hold on. Like, I, I don't, I thought we were gonna, I thought we had plans. We were gonna, and it's kind of like trying to like, <laughs> am I part out of those plans? Where a lot, hmm? so <laughs> the door, do you want to be part of those plans? We I don't know. <laughs> we're just arguing as lilacs, like, <laughs> we're so confused. Lilac, Lilac has her back to the doors, and like, she's schooling her features. She's like, oh my god, guys. <laughs> no one's here. And as soon as the door closes, you hear somebody clear the throat at the front of the room. Oh, and you man. see uh, there's a man standing there. He's a middle-aged man with broad, stocky build. Uh, he's very well-groomed with a beard and a mustache. Very oh. thick eyebrows in kind of the like big pompadour, uh, like uh, salt and pepper uh, <laughs> hairstyle. Uh, he's impeccably dressed. Impeccably dressed. Keep um, talking. Where do you shop, <laughs> sir? That is unimportant at this time. And he he puts down a shining silvery briefcase. And uh, he goes, go ahead. This is the wallet. There you go. Is this Why? one of those drug deals? Because I, I don't have any action. money. This Why are you giving me a wallet? Deal. This is about the Isn't wallet, Isn't that why we're right? here? We're in trouble for yeah, the no. wallet. You call us here? Uh, I actually didn't I, know about the wallet, so he should I, be in trouble about the wallet. I did, but it, this isn't about the wallet. This is about the special oh, extra wallet. credit project. There's no wallet. Oh, a special extra credit? Yes. The four of you have been selected for a very special project to earn extra credit. Well, amazing. We Why just started. You... Are my grades that bad? No, it's it's like what's, a good thing. It's like a... Did you know that it was because Rally was putting memes in the notes? So you think we need help? Because Should I, I promise, if you look through the, but if you look through the notes, I've got really good notes. Um, and I always give we them. We do have very good notes. We and you see, he kind of sla he slams he slams I the briefcase be. down. It makes kind of like a loud noise, and he goes, "I will explain." Bastion has had a long history of heroes and villains over the years. Ever since Rend disappeared, there hasn't been a resurgence of villainy, villain activity until recently. There have been reports of villains popping up here and there, but we've also received intelligence of, uh, well, not to scare you, but an imminent attack on this school within six months' time. The information is vague, but reliable. We've gotten word that it is a student of, of the school that will be responsible for it. And the student has either been influenced by outside forces or radicalized, but instends, intends on destroying the school and Bastion. The problem is, we do not know who this student is. We could enlist the authorities and the local heroes, but this would perhaps spook the student into going back into hiding, and then we'd be back where we started which is very little information. So, we have decided to enlist four students to help us with this. And he cracks the briefcase and he opens it. And within the foam of the briefcase are four metallic shapes. And right now they're just kind of these small, spherical, silver objects sitting in the case. And he goes... These four devices will awaken innate abilities in you and perhaps multiply them, making you all really instant yes rally. Oh, this is for Alec, but like after he said awaken powers or like whatever, Rally's already walking over to grab it. <laughs> uh, just wait one moment before I at least explain what it does. Because once you put it on, you will not be able to take it off. It will manifest itself in whatever form you desire, but until one of us can remove it for you, it will not be able to come off. I just want that to be known. Uh, what was that? 
Can we shower with it on? Uh, yes, it is waterproof, yes. Okay. How waterproof? Because, like, I had a watch that said it was waterproof, but I went swimming and then it broke. Yeah, I, I had a watch like that, too. I assure you it is very waterproof. Nathira, yes? Um, is this, like, a trick? What if I say no? If you say no, we'll, we'll just remove the memory uh, that this happened uh, for memory. you. Memory. Uh, yes. Um, and we will continue on with these three as this is of the utmost importance that it is kept secret because you Rally has a question yes rally is this a date this isn't a date <laughs> if... are you sure this is the sort of group that you want if it were up to me perhaps i'd reconsider but it's not i'm just mm. doing my job lila's <laughs> gonna turn to the rest of you and say okay why don't we let him finish explaining everything for us? Just because we want to make sure that we know what we're signing up for, okay? okay? It's it's also not a date. I'll explain to you Terms what dates are. Terms and conditions? Are. Terms and conditions. You're saying yes. the right things. Yes. As I said, they will gift you or awaken powers that you may have already had. And as well as allow you to grant yourself a disguise of some sort because it is um, of the utmost importance that your identity remains hidden when you are committing these vigilante acts because we cannot license you and no one can know about this project because we must investigate and find the student and that is going to be up to you. You must stop their wrongdoings in the meantime and find the student and prevent them from enacting whatever plan they intend on. Is your memory going to be wiped too? Mine? Yes. Perhaps, I'm not you, sure. You said no one will know about it, but like you're here with us. Um, I think of me as your handler. Oh, I can't tell my dad. I saw that in one of those pamphlets. Pamphlets earlier. Handlers? <laughs> oh, dear God. I really need to... I'm going to get you a book. Um... Listen, are you a teacher here or something? No. So What's how are we... Yeah. We will Keep take medicine. care of the extra credit. What? What's your name? You can just call me Sterling. Sterling. You have a very Don't nice worry. name. Uh, any other question? Can I take the fun shiny egg now? And he pushes the briefcase forward. Anybody else want to go for it? No? Okay. <laughs> so, just grabs it. So you grab it. Uh, what shape do you want yours to take? Um, it can turn into any kind of jewelry, accessory, piece well, of clothing. Well, here we go. Uh, for those of you watching and or understand this reference, Common Rider, uh, there ah. is like a sort of large metallic <sighs> buckle. You can see uh, there's like a slot in the center for... I guess the two who were sitting next to me in class for that like weird Tamagotchi toy, like it's shaped directly for that. <laughs> uh, you can see on either side, uh, there are these like large handles of sorts that seem to like, are, are made to like press in. Uh, the belt, the rest of the belt is like black, but you can also see engraved along the, the, um, the buckle itself along the exterior are like tiny little images of like, very important moments in Rally's life. A lot of them are based around hanging out with Nathira and like playing superheroes like in the neighborhood. And uh, I'm gonna say there's like a little label that just says like effigy on it. Okay. Uh, who's next to grab theirs? He puts it on. It's like, I think it's a good look. Lilac is hanging back. Got it. Alea is also hanging back. <laughs> Nathir is staring at Lilac. What? What? Do we draw what? straws? Or... Listen, silver really isn't my color. But I mean, you're trying to be president. This is like where you show initiative. Aren't Maybe you I not? should be president. Like, that rally did show the first initiative. That is very presidential. Lilac you didn't want to be vice cracks, president. So you could she be cracks her neck and then turns and goes, listen, being 
a school president for a school council is a little different to signing up for something that could get us killed. So excuse me for being a little hesitant, okay? Your Wait, this could get us killed? He just said that this is going to awaken a Nate. What? You're a superhero nerd, right? Yeah. Aren't you a superhero daughter? Yes, I am. How many superheroes have died? Well, not your dad. <laughs> Alec, do I know? So... Do I know how many? Uh, out of, out of the pantheon, <laughs> yeah, just give um, me like a number. At least one, one out of the pantheon. Um, yeah, one one out of the main pantheon was was killed by Rend. Um, and the other one was like nearly killed. Um, I repeat that verbatim, like I've read it, like I've memorized <laughs> this information. Well, you see, a couple of whatever many time ago, uh, Loomstalker was killed. ripped apart by Rend, and Loomstalker was ripped apart by Rend. Uh, I, I read that in one of the issues. Uh, there was also the other Reload. one, not quite Reload, not dead, yeah. but in a coma, horribly injured, in a coma, okay. even. Uh, okay. but <laughs> okay, you know, it was like a rhetorical question, okay. Mr. Sterling, uh, <laughs> what sort of insurance do we have out of this? Well, the uh, suits will protect you from most damage, um, but you should still be careful, and I will be around to guide you should you need it. Ugh, I really hate silver. It can She's... turn into whatever color you want. Oh, thank God for that. And then she's going to pick one up. Uh, and it's going to form like a little... Uh, can it form like earrings or... It can form whatever you want. Yeah, she's going to... It's going to like form like a little pair of like gold, like quite chunky earrings. Who's next? If anybody's next. You could do like those things. Of the do, 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 do paper. I don't know what they're called. I don't... I don't want to go first. What if we do it at, like, the same time? Yeah? I've survived death a couple times, I don't think. I think I got a good shot. I have to ask you more about that later on. I feel like now is not a good time, but we should talk about that, probably. Okay. Okay. Together? And, uh... Totally! Alea's gonna, like, reach out her hand. For like Nathira to hold. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just hold it. She gives Raleigh a little. And right before she goes to grab it, she watches Alea grab it first and just holds her hand over the egg for a second. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alea, what does your, what does yours look like? Um, mine transforms into like a very uh thin ear cuff that like twirls around just on uh one ear um it's very like dainty and small you would barely notice it notice okay. it if it was there i okay. love the contrast yeah mm -hmm. the big <laughs> chunky gold earrings to the ear cuff i love it uh and Nith nithira what does yours look like she sees that happen she kind of just looks around at everyone um okay it's just a silver egg yeah, uh, yeah, right now it's just like a little yeah. sphere. So she's going to grab it, but when she picks it up, it doesn't change into anything just yet. And she slowly just like lets um, Alea's hand go. She, well, I don't, I don't really, I thought I was supposed to. <laughs> and when she sneezes, it just poof, explodes into black smoke and slowly starts to come together into a small little circular ball around her finger and the smoke just coalesces at the top and blooms into a small flower ring. Oh. So I like yours. Can we trade? I don't think that's how that works. It, they now they won't come off now that you've got them on. Oh. I really should have put more thought into this. I should have made a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> You um, say that, I have, I have this huge belt finger. buckle. <laughs> I gotta cut off my finger to take it off. <laughs> um, if it was a bracelet, you'd need to cut off your hand, so. And, uh, cool. Sterling closes the case, um, but, uh, because, Nathira, you were the last one to grab it, uh. I'll, I'll give you this piece of information. So, it was a, a foam insert, right? And there were, you uh -huh. saw the four spheres. As he closes it, 
you notice that there was a fifth sphere, but the, like a fifth spot for a sphere, but it's empty as he closes the case um, and like locks it. And, and I'm confused. Out. You said there were four. Yes, there were four. Yeah, but there was a fifth slot. That's just a uh, fifth slot. It's just for an extra slot. one, perhaps. Wait, can I try again then? I would like to pierce the mask, sir. Yes, go ahead and pierce the mask. <laughs> Oh I know you can't give advantage through a health action, <laughs> no. but I want to try. <laughs> so, so that is uh, 2d6 plus mundane. Dang it. Uh, nine? A nine? Okay, so you get to ask, like, uh, one question. From that uh, list? What are you yeah. really planning? Um... Dang, they have to be like exactly from that list. Is that how mask works? Uh, I've can... been flexed. I've been flexed with it this whole game. So if there's something specific you want to ask, just ask. You get one question. I get one question. I hate this. Um. Uh... Um. I'm. Yeah, she's not that smart. I'm not gonna think too much into it. Um, I'm just gonna pick one of these. Um, what, like, what do you intend to do with the fifth slot? Like, with what was in the fifth slot? Um, so he goes, there was a fi there was supposed to be a fifth, but there isn't anymore. Who was it? That is need to know. Who was knows? It Jackson? Who? Okay, it wasn't Jackson. Don't All know right. who that is. Well, what do we do now? And so he closes the case and he he, he sets it by his side. He's like, now, um, to use them, it's going to take a, an emotional trigger. Um, so you you will need to find what emotion, whether it's um, danger or happiness or joy or fear. It could be anything, um, and that will uh, trigger yours. Uh, yes, Rally. Uh, I'm, this is asking, uh, Alec. And knowing that Rally is like the biggest superhero fan in the world. Yeah. Uh, get, having given been given powers, is he happy enough to activate his thing? Yep. Yeah. You yeah, can. He's yeah. not, even, <laughs> not even listening to him. Immediately, uh, you could see he like kind of fumbles through his bag, takes out one of his like. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna say like just one one of the random like Tamagotchi. Uh, which, uh, by the way, I, I called DN Eggs uh, as a character thing. But, um, you can see it's it's pretty much shaped like this, with like a little button at the top and like the other ones to like control it. It just like hits the button on the top, and it announces, I guess. Uh, hold like on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna roll a D six, and I will tell you which one it is. Hell yeah. Uh, it'll be it'll be six. So it's Titan. Titan. Hell yes. Uh. As he presses it, you just hear, like, this booming voice shout, Titan, and he kind of, like, almost drops it. It's like, I don't remember it being that loud. Um, places it into the, uh, the, into the buckle, and you hear it say, get set, and it's like, I guess I just kind of hit the thing, and he, uh, you watch as he presses the two ends together, and the, uh, the DNA cracks open at upon impact and there's this huge explosion but not within like a dangerous setting more of like a power rangers like yeah that happened as you can see like individual particles uh start to form into body armor as his entire figure goes like completely uh silver uh i didn't get more into like what the thing would say after the fact but it does say um i'm gonna say like egg sight <laughs> I had more. Uh, whatever, I'll, I'll figure that out later. But it yep. does announce three uh, different things that tie into the into the egg itself, and it finally announces uh, effigy Titan. As you can see now, he's like grown a foot taller, huge like armored plates, muscular. He's just like flexes, and like all the smoke clears immediately, and he's just standing there. Uh, it looks like knight armor. The helmet uh, kind of resembles more of like a fox motif. 
with uh, this sort of like V-shaped visor. Uh, the rest is less detailed, but you do see there's like uh, extra parts that are like sort of built in that kind of make it look more like Spartan armor. But you can see that there's that sort of base form underneath as he's just like, hey, this is cool. Rally, are you okay? You got really big. I... Are you a... Is this effigy? I think it's effigy. He kind of like takes out his backpack. He's like, he grabs, he still has the tote bag, even though he's in this like super armored form. He like goes through his papers and he like kind of like shows uh, the group that like he's been, he has like all these drawings of like the base form and like all these other ones that are like based off of the superheroes. It's like, it's cool. And uh, Sterling looks to the rest of you. Are we supposed to do that? If you'd like, or you can try it out at a later date. Huh. Lilac's gonna cross her arms, take out, like, her crystal for a minute, and then be like, yeah, cool, later. And then leave immediately. Like, she's just texted for uh, Gilly to come pick her do up. You? And she's like, I guess we'll set up a group chat or something. And then leaves. Oh. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye, Lilac. Nathira's just standing there, like, arms clutched around her backpack the second, um, the second rally. And when I heard said, like, effigy, she's just like, I don't know if you need to, I, I don't know if it's like a force it kind of thing. Maybe I like know. you just, he said like an emotional trigger. So maybe like we could, I don't know, maybe think of would... something really important. Yeah, like think of something that makes you sad and then like something that makes you happy and then angry. Maybe when... hungry. And for the next 30 seconds, you're just going to see like a bunch of emotions going through her <laughs> when, face. When Alea says something sad, the moment of, of, um, oh God, I forgot her name. Mabel asking uh, Rally to homecoming oh. flashes oh. through your head and you feel something like almost like snap in your head. Ooh. <laughs> As you have this almost like Ow. rush of negativity and kind of like almost like darkness begin to kind of wash over you and please describe what your transformation looks like. Is that me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sadness is going to be my thing. Oh, God. Um, that wasn't the one I was going to pick, but it's close enough. <laughs> um, I will say it wasn't sadness. It was fear. Okay. So she feels a sense of fear. And as she's closing her eyes and she just... She just disappears into the ground. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah, where'd you kinda go? Like, <laughs> this like big lumbering oaf like walks over and like starts patting the ground. Like, Nathira? You see, like, I'm right here. in his voice, there's like genuine like. Oh, concern. I'm right here. She's, she's Are standing you a ghost? right behind you. And she is in the same looking overalls that she was in last time. Um, but it looks like her skin, it's not a full black, but it just looks like her skin has been eaten by shadows. Like almost like if you were to reach out and touch her, she wouldn't be there. Like maybe her hand almost just goes through. The color of her hair is has gone the same where it almost looks like her Purple, uh, her light lavender braids have turned into like black floating hair. It's just there and you can't really tell her. Um, her braids kind of just slow, like bobbing and slowly floating in the air. And her eyes are just black. I'm, I'm, right, I'm right here. I didn't move. Are you okay? So you look cool. really dark. And she looks down, and I'm not going to do it because I'm on a mic, but she's just going to scream. 
<laughs> Riley <laughs> starts screaming too. She's just like, what is it? Uh, She's just like touching her arm. She's okay. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you're still alive. I'm okay. Um, Effigy, like, but these uh, are my effigy, overalls. Riley, uh, and these, and this, what? Uh, I was going to say, Riley, like, kind of like puts a reassuring hand on you. And okay. Like, it's, um, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. fine. Um, Do your breathing exercises. Um, okay. These have, these have pockets. That's good. There's oh, you have pockets? I don't have pockets. I got pockets. Um, ooh, ooh, and my hair, and my hair. And she goes to pick up her hair, and her hair just kind of, like, falls through her hands back down onto her shoulders. Um, this is, this is great. Um, how do I stop this? We can get you new flowers. When he, when he says we can get you new flowers, it's like a, and it, like, your everything kind of sucks back into the ring. Okay. Did that feel when weird? It, when it all when it all sucks back, she just kind of like slowly is like holding onto Rally's arm as she like sits herself down in the crisscross applesauce. Yeah, just kind of like dangling down, goes into crisscross. Rally is like sauce. not letting go of like her hand after like watching her freak <laughs> out like that. He's like, it's okay. He's still this huge like lumbering titan. He's like, it's okay. You're fine. And she like look. Now that she's kind of like calming down and looking at her ring, she sees on the inside um, the word scream with a K written in gold letters. And she's just going to hold it up to rally. It's, it's really hard to see in this helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it says scream with a K. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Are you? That was that was the name. He was he, effigy. He, yeah, we, we came cream. up with these like a long time ago. Uh, Mabel was Princess Power. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, I wish Lilac was the hair too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this is, this is... Maybe you should have grabbed that fifth one gonna, for her. She's going to slowly pick up her head at Alea, like eyes wide. You okay? Are you? You seem fine. I, I'm, I'm okay so far. So for Alea, where do you think would spark you? Loneliness. Okay. Not being alone. Loneliness. So would <laughs> would seeing the two of them be so close? How would that make you feel? And your sister walking out and just leaving. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. He's stretching. Yeah. When her sister walks out, Alea is all too familiar with that sensation. There's always kind of been an ambivalence. Uh, from Lilac about her. Though they used to be close, they haven't really seen each other or hung out in years. It's been very surface level. And though with Rally and Nithira, uh, she experienced, like, for the first time, really, anybody talking to her beyond just the, Are you Nova's kid? <laughs> Although it started off that way. Uh, in that moment where she sees Rally comforting Nathira, she realizes that she has not been comforted like that. Ever. As long as she can remember. And for that moment, for that second, it's light in the room currently, right? Yeah, like this, the Arcanum is like this, like, like always like crystalline lit sphere. So it's got like this dim crystal light. Okay, cool. Uh, as you guys are speaking to each other and kind of like comforting each other and like having this intimate moment that is quite indescribable unless you're in it and sharing this kind of love and vulnerability you do not notice 
as Alea slips into one of the few shadows in the room and seems to disappear. You do not notice her gone at all. Continue to comfort Mayfair. Just be like, it, it's fine. Is That's, this, I feel like this is too much. I'm kind of like intimidating. I, I don't I like being I am solely a watcher, baby. Okay. You want to save the description then for later? I will save the description for later. Okay. I think you know what it's going I, to be. <laughs> yes, I do. I do, but. Cool. Um, and we're going to, we're going to pan really quick down to uh, Lilac. As Lilac, you are like making your way through the halls, you know, making your way out. Um, and you're texting on your crystal, you know, like looking at stuff. And you bump into somebody as you're walking. Um, and it's this tall guy just kind of standing. And he's, he's just facing the door. Like he's in front of the door to the outside. Excuse me. Sorry. Can I get by you, please? He doesn't respond. Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, people need to go places. You're kind of blocking the whole move. And you see his body begin to kind of convulse a little bit. Oh, no. He begins to kind of like shake. And there's kind of this grumbling noise that's coming from him. And you see his skin begins to crack. As you see oh. this kind of, his skin is beginning to get replaced with this gray, like chitinous material. And his oh, finger, yeah. his fingers kind of fuse together to points where he's only got like three fingers, but they're all these kind of chitinous, almost like not knives, but claws. And you see from his back begins to sprout these two other arms made of the same chitinous material as he begins to hunch over and slowly turn around as this kind of almost like spider-like human turns around to face you and begins to kind of chitter, I suppose. You know what? It's okay. I think there's another door turns and like starts legging it. <laughs> Start legging it. It yeah. begins. It begins to pursue you. <laughs> um, and I believe that is where we're gonna stop for tonight. <laughs> no, my leg let you leave. <laughs> she gonna I'm learn today sorry. about splitting the party. <laughs> oh Rest God. in peace. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I died in the first session. Here, I'll get my back up. <laughs> and that's where we're going to stop for tonight. And as the camera pans back, it goes back up from downstairs with Lilac and the creature and back upstairs into the Arcanium. And Nithira, you're kind of writing yourself, you know, getting yourself all put together. And uh, Rally turns his back for a second and you just have this cough kind of come up. And you cough and you pull your hand away and there's just little specks of blood in your hand and you quickly like wipe them away and put it back and you can feel a bit of a headache begin to develop shit and that's <laughs> and that's where we're gonna stop oh, oh my god, god. She's no oh shit thank you all so much for joining us oh for god. episode one of heroes of bastion this has been so much fun i think the majority of this was me going the whole time um <laughs> i have been alec the, your gm thank you so much to uh re as lilac uh thank you so much uh cam as alea <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you dean the imposter as nathira and uh thank you to hama sama hoon as i don't know why i broke it up like that as as rally <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We will see y'all next time. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Bye, Bye. now.